Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Heat Ray Vision Podcast. This is Javi, also known as Hav, and with me I got Hector, also known as C and Six. Yo, what's up, man? And I got Mario, also known as Just Jazzy. What up? And today we're going to be reviewing the five-episode limited series Echo on Disney Plus, man. Yes, sir. Fun fact: the very first Disney Plus show to be rated at mature TVMA. Yep. Yeah, right. So, you know, obviously there was a lot of hype behind this show, you know, thinking about, like, you know, whether it's going to be good because it's going to be bloody and mature and whatever the hell. Yeah, right. So this is going to be the episode (laughs) where we finally give our thoughts. But before we get started, we want to remind you guys that you can listen to our pods on any platforms that support audio, right? YouTube, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud. But as far as Google Podcasts, it's not going to be for long because I know they're shutting down. So so for all four of (laughs) y'all, the force of y'all, if y'all just want to like switch over to YouTube or some man, I don't even know, man. Like you know, pull out an old iPod Touch or something. Check an us iPod out. Touch. That'd be fucking cool. And if you guys could follow all our socials, right? Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and t- uh, am I missing one? No, that's so those are the three, right? Yeah, all the socials. Yeah, yeah, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Anywhere, yeah, anywhere. At He Ray Vision Podcast. So make sure to follow us and give us a listen. And you know, man, wherever you guys are listening, you know, leave a comment, leave a rating, leave a like or something. Let's show some support. You know. Uh, most importantly, our uh, Instagram page at He Revision Podcast. You guys can send us DMs. We like to do a little segment at the end of our show where we read fan comments and questions that you guys want to ask us. So if you guys want any questions answered or a conversation about anything that you guys have, you'll make sure to just DM us, and we'll be sure to address it in a future episode. Yeah. But all right, man. Echo. Oh, man. I'm not going to lie, man. There's. I feel like I have a lot to say, but like not really. Do we got to eat up our words again, man? Because remember, like, oh, you know what? At first, we're like, we're like, what man, the fuck? fuck it, we don't give a we fuck about show, bro. We, don't we care. saw the trailer, like, oh shit, oh, we shit, eat up our words. It's rated TVMA. Hold on, girl. You mean eat our own words? That's what I said. Yeah, because we said it was trash, and then we're like, whoa, it looks good. Like, right? Oh, is that? And then oh. now when we finally got it, it's like, oh shit, maybe we've been right all along. It's just yeah, whatever. I know. Mm-hmm. You know? What oh, you mean? I get it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, bro. So I don't know, man. There's a there's a lot to say, man. First yeah. of all, first question right off the bat. Um, yeah, man. Oh, there's going to be a spoiler been, review. Okay, that was the question. Oh, I was going to oh. ask if it was going to be a spoiler because it's, no, been, over, spoilers, it's, been, an, it's been over a week. Yeah, straight up spoilers. Okay, so then just episodes. full on spoilers. Yeah, I don't all know right, why Mario's sure. laughing. All right. No, it's because he said question and I got I got, uh, I got a, like a memory from another show. From called, the Call of Duty show? No, 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 no. Oh. From, from how, I Met you, how I Met Your Mother. This where is random. It is okay. random as fuck. But it was random as fuck, right? But to explain why I was laughing is because one of the episodes, they like they want to make a bar. And the guy's like, bro, I want to make a bar, and I already know what I'm going to name it. What? It's something to do with the riddle, right? Okay. And the guy's like, but I don't get it. And the guy goes, that's the riddle. And because Javi here was saying, like, I have a question for y'all. And by the way, you interrupted him saying, you interrupted him saying, like, oh, by the way, it's going to be a spoiler or whatever the fuck. And he that's says. the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, it, it's because I just linked both of them together, bro. It was random as All right. side tangent, my bad. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, it is what it is. That's the question. But that was a, I was, that's what I was going to ask. Is that yeah. Since it's been. Not only has it been over a week, but also, like, they decided to drop all the episodes on one day. Yeah. So, like, it was, like, an easy binge for anybody who wanted to watch it and shit. So, it's like, do we do a spoiler or not? So, it's going to be a spoiler review. Yeah. So, that's going to be your spoiler warning, guys. So, just be on the lookout that we're going to go into spoilers. However, just because I know social media and, like, I go on social media every day. I go on TikTok. I go on threads and shit like that. And I just see everyone shitting on the MCU. You have threads? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Yeah. But uh, I go on that shit. Like, everyone always be trashing on the MCU. Pretty harshly, I feel like. And because I know most of y'all probably are on the same boat, y'all going to listen to this podcast either way, and you're going to say, fuck yeah. the spoilers, I'm not going to watch Echo, I want to see what HRV has to say. So I would say click off, but I know most of y'all won't. But, but in to case, be honest, if, like, if you really wanted to see it, it's been you a You would have seen it by yeah, now. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's been a week already, you would have seen it. Or maybe if you watched it and you're like, I don't know how I feel about it, let me get like a second, third, fourth yeah. opinion, then you know mm-hmm. that's what we're here for. But... Like we said, y'all, spoiler review. Uh, if you guys don't want any spoilers, click off. If you guys want to stay and join the party, you know, welcome. Uh, maybe in the future episode we can get a little Kahoot thing going on. Y'all can, like, join <laughs> in and ask questions Kahoot. or whatever the fuck. Hey, Mexico. Mexico. That'd be funny Imagine as fuck. if we ever did, like, a live show. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, we'd host like we a could co- read we'd, comments. We'd host like a Kahoot game and shit. Hook up to the TV. Oh shit! <laughs> Who wants to see Edgar get butt ass naked? Square or triangle? Dumb man. <laughs> square or triangle. <laughs> I'm more so like reading the chat. Like I want to read and what people are what? saying. It's like square or like, triangle. Like if I ever say a hot take or some shit or whatever, I want to see it's the out chat. There. Like man, you dumb L- as hell. L L L. Just put your hands. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Yeah, no. But uh, like I said, guys, spoiler review. So if you guys don't want to listen, click off now. If not, join the party. So yeah. in three, 
two, one. All right, y'all. Y'all been warmed. We're going to get into spoilers. Wow, man. All right, so Echo. Echo. Jesus, man. What's it called? I don't even know where to start. I think. I guess. Uh, all right, let's just let's just get out. Let's just get out of the way. Let's just start with it like bluntly. Okay. Overall, all five episodes, we've all seen it. Give me your guys' this, like quick one to two sentence, three sentence at max, right? What did you guys think of this show? I think. Give me over- your quick thoughts. I think overall, from beginning to end, the beginning of it, it it, it, it hooks you. Okay. And I feel like the best way to describe how I feel by the end of it is I was blue balled. Oh, okay. if you know I mean, what I mean by I that. I guess. Okay, I because mean, I want to know how. I've never... Because given the trailer, <laughs> heard anyone given say that, that first episode, oh, that first okay. sequence, I'm just like, okay, I see where we're going with this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then by the end, I'm just like, what the what the fuck did I just... What the fuck did I just see, basically? You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. what, what the fuck was the point of these five episodes? Wow, you felt like that. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Interesting. Okay. Okay. What about you, me, bro? Well, hold on. I'm going to oh. ask Mario real quick. What about the first episode got you hooked? Like, I guess. Hooked is like a strong, like. Hooked is like Whoa. the first episode of The Bear. I would say that for, that what we kind of, in the trailer, hooked we is saw. is like the first episode of Breaking Bad. I mean, you're, I mean, you're right. So, like, how did you get hooked from this first episode? I would have to say what we saw in that trailer was in the very first episode, and okay. I really and spoiler, I we can th- talk about it. I'm just, yeah, right. with Daredevil, that fight scene with Daredevil the and like, how's all one shot and shit. Yeah, I thought Fuck. I thought every every episode. I'm not gonna say every episode needed it, but I thought that was gonna be the majority of mostly every episode. If you know okay. what I mean, and the fact that the episodes that weren't like that, it's fine, mm-hmm. but. If they're not going to be like that, you got to execute on the story, on the writing, on everything, and they never did. Yeah. Besides gotcha. on one out of the five. Gotcha. Yeah. What so, about you, Hector? What did you think of the show? Um, the whole, you know, rated M, right, type shit uh-huh. is cool. Yeah. Right. It's cool. more. The blood. Finally, we get blood and shit. Cool. For real. Some close-up headshots and shit. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, but, a, definitely a, a step in the right direction. Yeah, for, for sure. what we need for these Marvel shows to be a little for more sure. grittier exactly. and realistic, and I, and I think that's what hooked us, obviously, right? Right. But if you really just peel the layer back, it's just another normal, mediocre MCU show with just blood. I yeah. I, I would describe it the same way. You know what I mean? It's just, and it sucks, man. It sucks because it is the right direction, but I think it's just. Maybe the writing or something. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Man. like the only like the only parts where I actually felt like yo was obviously when we saw Daredevil mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. obviously Fisk. Yeah, come on, man. Wilson to me, Fisk. Fisk stole the show, man. It's not even his show. You know and what I mean? That's true. And he's only I'll, in two out of the five. That's what I'm saying. And I like. I just always loved when he was around. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Vincent D'Onofrio always does a very good job. He's always played a really good Fisk. Yeah. A part of me was wondering, like, if they were to bring Wilson Fisk and and you know into the MCU, because there was that whole period of like you know those few years where people were like, is the Netflix shows are they canon or what the fuck? And, like yeah. we didn't know what the fuck. My question was like, if they were to bring Kingpin and shit, like, would it be the same actor? Would it be the same guy from the Daredevil show? Because he's getting up there in age. Like, That's are facts, these characters bro. are going to be around to play him forever? Type shit. That's like, facts, man. It's one of those things where I was like, I don't know. So the fact that they brought him in, cool. Yeah. That's fire, and he plays him very well. The way he talks, like it's just mm-hmm. the way that Kingpin talks is funny because like he just talks like a normal dude in the comics and the animated shows, but like in the show, he's got like that voice. Yeah, he's like, and it's like, why does he talk like that? But whatever. And the whole rumors about him being the you know compared to like the Thanos and the street level hero type of yeah, world, I've heard that that's what the is, plan is that they're going that would for. Be fire. Yeah, I mean the end, the end, fire, literally the end credit scene basically kind of just sets that up. Yeah, it sets it up, and. I like that, man. And I remember Mario was saying, yo, man, Fisk is wild, man. He fires hell, blah, blah. I'm like, Mario, you got to watch Daredevil. You got to watch the girl. Daredevil show, bro. He does more. If you, th- yeah. I, That's why I told him, like, if you think he's raw now, raw right now, you got to watch him in you Daredevil. Gotta, dude, this, what he does in Daredevil is nothing to what he does here. Yeah, man. He no. does more. Like that one scene where, like, he has that interpreter. That, uh, interpreter. Yeah, and he ends up killing her and shit. That's yeah. crazy. Bro. Like, yeah, that's cold, right? Damn, that's, <laughs> that's cold. That's cold, right? But bro, that's not even the coldest, heart, like, heartless thing he's ever done. For real? Dude, watch the Netflix show. He does some shit, bro. It's fucked, dude. He gets his fucking hands dirty. He doesn't give a fuck. Dude, remember, like, okay, I, I won't spoil it for Mario, but remember, like, in season one, the first, like, couple episodes, remember what he does to that dude with the car? Oh, yeah. Dude, 
That's nothing. Yeah, man. What happens in Echo? What happens? Oh, shit. Oh, shit are you good? good? No, yeah, I'm good. What happens in Echo is nothing compared to that shit what he does in the car. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it for Mario, but yeah. dude, in season one, bro, in the first couple episodes, Fisk does something in his SUV car, and you're going to be like, whoa. You're going to be like, oh, shit. So they kind of nerfed him in Echo because he's if he's capable of this shit, what the yeah. fuck? You know what I mean? Um, but dude, that whole scene in, in Daredevil when he does that shit in the car, I was like, that's crazy. So yeah, dude, trust me, you got so much. If you loved Kingpin, bro, you're gonna love Daredevil. Yeah, I'd better say he was the best. Thing and about dude, Daredevil show. itself and is a fucking great hero. Like in that show, dude, I'll, like it's not like when you saw him in She-Hulk. Did you ever you watch She-Hulk, right? I Sadly, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so you remember like when he was doing his flippity dippity bullshit and it was all CGI? <laughs> Dude, on Netflix, it's practical. It's like stunt doubles. It's real shit. It's not CGI. Nothing's ever. Oh, that's stunts. good. I mean, that's good to hear. No, yeah, bro. It's like you're watching a fucking raid. And movie. I'm curious to see like how many of our uh, uh, supporters, listeners, have actually seen the Netflix like the, Daredevil the, or even the universe. The whole universe. I'm gonna the, be honest. I'm I never, gonna... I never deep dived into the universe. Fire, I've bro. only ever seen the first season of Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. Iron Fist, I never gave it a shot. I never watched the second seasons of those shows. I did watch The Defenders because I heard that I had to before I watched season three of Daredevil. Mm. And I'm here to tell you, no, not really. You just got to know one big spoiler that happens in yeah. The Defenders and you'd be set. You're set for Daredevil season three. Literally, if you don't want to watch The Defenders, I could just tell you the big shit that happens to Matt and then you could just go into season three like nothing. Yeah. So that's just, you don't have to but watch. The Defenders is a good show. I liked it, but it's not necessary to watch season three of Daredevil. It's, I only did it because All I was those like, shows are better than the current MCU shows. It's right true. Now, well, it's, like, well, I mean, I can't really speak for I, the you know seasons what, that I didn't watch. I, yeah, but I've seen them. You know what's funny? Except, I think another comparison I can say to uh, like how the MCU has begun is the one I said to you when we're on the way to watch the ISS movie. Whereas like these, these, these Marvel shows now just give me like a Disney oh, Channel yeah. show vibe or it's like oh it's another Disney Channel type of show that feeling you know what I'm talking about mm. you know that feeling you get when you see like a, a brand new Disney Channel show and it's like oh I, I already know what to expect mm -hmm. yeah. that's how I'm feeling with the Marvel shows and you I, know yeah. what to expect yeah <laughs> and that's because like I was telling Mario that I don't know how to explain this half but the Netflix Daredevil show uh -huh. and even Jessica Jones Luke Cage all those shows in that universe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what's now the mcu right i guess we just cut we could talk about that girl. yeah oh yeah that they added the shows into the sacred timeline mm, yeah so Plus. now it's canon girl That's and, cool. then, and then and uh, thank god yeah dude right and my only thing is is that if it's canon like there's there's some stuff that i'm questioning like continuity wise yeah there's some shit that's not quite lining up girl based on what i saw in daredevil seasons one through three and now that it's canon and in the timeline Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's going on here? There's mm -hmm. some shit that's not adding up, um, but I don't want to spoil. That's the thing, because yeah. I know you haven't seen season three of Daredevil, yeah. so I don't, I don't want to spoil nothing. Fuck so, what was I saying? You were saying that uh, the she shows that now <laughs> you said that the shows are now canon, and that the, all these shows are better than what Disney Plus has put out. Yes. Are you sure? Are you sure that's where I left off? Fuck. You said, <laughs> you said these the Netflix shows are better than the Disney Plus shows, which I guess are canon. We can talk about. Oh that. yes, okay, okay, yes. Uh, yeah, they're way better, man. Better than these current MCU mm. shit. It, oh, oh, I remember, I remember. Because for some reason, I don't get, I don't know, is that those shows were filmed differently. I know what you mean. Yeah, they were. And I tried explaining it to Mario, dude, but I don't know how to explain it. Uh, okay, I think I can explain it. And like, I tried coming up with other shows like that the have cinema, that similar Like the similar cinematography style. is different, Mario. It's basically what he's saying. The cinematography on the Netflix... Looks more serious. On the Netflix shows look more serious. Like more they dramatic. Look, they look more dramatic. They look more grounded. It's as if you went to go to the movies and you watched... What's a good example? Like, let's say, not, not even just, like, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, movies that we saw in theaters, but, like, any movie. So, like, as far as cinematography, imagine watching Ant-Man Quantumania, where it's always medium shots. It's always just shots of there from, like, the torso up. It's always the same medium shot in front of a green screen. That's obvious green screen, because you see the outline of their, you know what I mean? Mm. And you're, you can take one look at, like, any frame from Ant-Man Quantumania, you'll be like, that's an MCU movie. It's always a medium shot in front of a green screen, and it looks very MCU. Now, compare that to any frame on Oppenheimer. 
you could tell like that's not MCU because that's a real background. That's not green screen. Yeah. The depth can the depth of like the background to the foreground like the character is different. The co- the 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 uh, the color grading like you know how like sometimes yeah, color grading and too. shit it looks like more like, realistic like, like the contrast not as well. like the contrast it doesn't look overly bright with colors and shit mm. it's super it's what it looks like that's dude. the vibe bro that's okay. basically the vibe like basically for you Mario I'm trying to think and like, I and I like that type of film yeah dude. I like like it a I'm lot. trying to think Mario like okay think like uh, as far as cinematography bro like look at uh look at how colorful and how like upscale the prequels were in Star Wars. Now compare that to any cinematography in Andor when it was more serious and grounded. You see uh, that? Yeah, no, no, I, I'm getting the idea. So that's I basically how the Netflix shows were filmed. Bro. Basically, like the Batman. Yeah, yeah. That's basically sense. the Netflix shit. Yeah, sure. The shots in Batman are very, very good shots. Not yeah, basically what the Netflix shows mm-hmm. are. But I'm not just saying cinematography. I'm just saying when the cameras pointing at people <clears throat> and they're talking, having conversation, even that looks different. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, there's act like yeah, dude. It's, it's one so of those. It's weird. one of the, I don't not, explain not, it. Not man. to get not to get super film nerdy. Not to get hella cinephile on y'all, but it's one of those things where like the camera does the talking. Mm. Yeah, people are talking, but you know what's going on because of the the way the camera works. Yeah. If you were to watch the Netflix show, bro, and you mute it, and you're not listening to the words. You can tell. Who's the good guy and who's the bad guy based on how the cameras are angled? You know, so you know when someone's emotional because it's a close up of their face and it's real personal. Or you can tell when someone's the bad guy if it's a far shot and they're away from the protagonist. Yeah, like dude. shit, like that, bro. Whereas with the MCU, whenever and that's every, two people talking back and forth, it's medium shot, medium shot, and medium shot, medium shot. Everything's practical, dude. No CGI. Everything and like the only CGI and not not even CGI, bro. It's so funny because with Jessica Jones, right? When I was watching that, like it's every it's filmed the same way as these other shows I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there's some shots where she could she could jump really high, right? That's one of her powers. That's right? one of her okay. powers. And so these obviously these moments are kind of funny, right? But since there's no CGI, what happens is like she like swings her arms and then immediately cuts. Ah. Uh. So she just does it like a jumping motion, mm-hmm. and then it just cuts, and it's just her like landing, landing like oh, like like she yeah. like that. And they'll only use special effects if they have to. Yeah. Okay. For obvious reasons, like okay, there's a character named Iron Fist, mm-hmm. and he's yeah, called Iron Fist because yeah, his going. fist lights. I up. saw that season. That would have to be like obviously that's special. Eff- you can't see. Yeah. You can't special like you can't practically do that. Like that's no, special yeah, effects. Yeah, yeah. But like when there's no special effects needed, they don't go for it. Okay. So everything look feels just more real, bro. Like the, literally, I could literally go on YouTube and play a fight scene with Daredevil from like season two. Remember, like that one, the star, the staircase fight, mm. dude. All one shot. You love one shot fights, like an Echo. They're nothing compared to the one shot fights that happen in Daredevil. Each every season has one, and every season you watch, it's better than the last one. Okay, dude. There's like a in season three. There's a one shot fight that happens uh, in a prison. It lasts like 15 minutes long. God damn. No cuts. No breaks. 15 minutes of just Daredevil fighting people, and then he goes and meets up with someone in a prison cell, and they talk for a bit. No cuts. Then they go back outside of the hallway, fight because it's like a like a prison riot. They go and fight more people, and then they go from like the prison yard to outside, to like, and it just follows them with no cuts, bro. Like, nonstop. God damn. Dude, it's above and beyond. And you know, speaking of the fighting, right? And I, <clears throat> Speaking of the fighting already with Daredevil, and then speaking, I, uh, when I, well, a couple, a while ago, you said the flippity-dippity, right? She hawk Yeah. Let's talk about the fight, right? What with, fight? With Daredevil. Daredevil. Because I have a few things oh, to say. Oh, oh. Okay, a, so I'll be honest with you. I'm going to be yeah. completely honest. I I enjoyed it yeah. because it was practical. He wasn't cgi like in She-Hulk. And it's but it's what I wanted to see. Like, when I saw Daredevil and She-Hulk, yeah. oh, raw, right? Fuck that suit, but raw. And then he's in CGI form, jumping off the top floor of a parking garage and yeah. landing like nothing what the fuck bro and like the way he was flipping it's like all cgi and it's like what the fuck so like seeing him fight here practically and it was all him yeah. i was like immediately that's a w so he's rocking the red suit that's another w and he's got like something that he that he doesn't have i believe right he doesn't have this in the netflix show no. are those batons yeah which is comic book accurate because he has those in the comics 
but he never rocked those in the Netflix show. But here, obviously, it's the MCU. They want to be more comic accurate. I think he com- did have the batons, but he didn't have the uh, the string that, that shoots out. Yeah, the little, string thing. Because so, okay, so he would have the batons, but you saw an echo like there's a string that connects the two, and he could literally just like throw yeah. it like that, and it comes back to him. I don't think on he the had Netflix, that Netflix show they were just connected. Oh, so they, he would just fight with them. Like, oh, oh okay. shit, right? So, like, the fact that it was practical and, like, it was Matt Murdock and, like, he was back and, like, that fight scene yeah. was cool, but it was cool and I liked that fight, especially, like, before he shows up, like, when it was just Echo fucking shit up because it was all one shot. I'm a, I like that shit. But with Daredevil, I wish he had more screen time. And I feel like the trailers baited us into thinking that Daredevil oh, was yeah. going to play a major part because of how much he was shown in the trailer. And it's funny because I look back at those trailers and... And every shot of Daredevil is that fight scene. They just pick a different moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you notice how, like, every shot of Daredevil in the Echo shows are, like, half a second? Mm-hmm. That's because his total screen time was, like, six, 70 seconds of screen time of mm-hmm. fighting. And I didn't like how it ends with him kind of, like, running off. He sneaks away. That's not very Daredevil. Mm-hmm. He sneaks off, and then she looks around. Oh, where'd he go? Next shot. She's at Fisk's house at the dinner table. Huh. Oh, I'm really proud of you, Maya. None of my men has ever lasted long with him. Good job. And that's it. That was all? That was that was the only that Daredevil? And I didn't know. Not even a question. It, it was just ask, there like, to who, hook him. Who was that? that? Like, she, not even that. Like, like It's just like, hey, you survived. Who did I survive? Like, Yeah, like, who, who the fuck that? was that guy? And they did, and that's another <laughs> thing where I'm like, where I'm like, he never makes reference. Like, oh, I had a run-in with him before. Yeah, nothing. And it's like, they don't reference the Netflix show or, so, or nothing like that. So I guess it's canon, but like, my thing is, where's the continuity? If it is canon, then... Well, maybe they already filmed and all that shit and written that before uh-huh. they decided to make it canon. That's what I'm saying, though. That's what I don't understand. Like, that's what confuses me. Because like, yeah. you watched season two of Daredevil. Yeah. Okay, I won't. No spoilers for Mario, but you know how he has like a love interest in season two. Mm-hmm. Okay, now he's in She Hulk and they're fucking. Yeah, I know. So where's the continuity? If it's canon, then whatever happened to that girl? <sighs> yeah. And now we're Which getting. I prefer that girl. Actually. No, uh, me too. Come on, obviously. That girl. Look what you mean, girl. <laughs> this motherfucker. Hey, but man. now here's the thing. Now if we get she Daredevil born hell. again, the next ne- the next Daredevil Mark show. <laughs> All right, my bad. If we get another Daredevil another show enemy. and those characters are coming back. Yeah. So how are they going to explain the, oh, oh yeah. man, she was just the Los Angeles fling. Yeah, I don't know, man. In which case, that now makes She-Hulk even more irrelevant. That's facts. Like, <laughs> shit. like what the fuck? Well, here's the I thing, right? Let's, so the whole flippity-dippity in She-Hulk, right? I think I've said before, like, I personally don't like it, but I can, I can kind of see what they want to do. Because in the comic books, he moves like that half. I know, you've told me that. Yeah, he moves Ooh. like that. In the comics, he's very acrobatic. He moves like that, boy. And I get what he's I get what they were trying to do, but uh remember guys, and I like to say this because some people like are really like hardcore about it. Like, no, if it's not like the comics, like then it's trash. Like, nah man. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I've read some comic books that I didn't like, and just because it's source material doesn't mean it's like supposed Sacred. to be Sacred. Exactly. In the comic books, it works, right? Uh, Frank Miller's the Daredevils, man. I I love his comics. It works, but in live action, I don't know. I kind of prefer. I, I'm okay with him not doing those things, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? And I mm-hmm. think in Echo, here's the good thing with Echo. Yeah, I think they did a pretty good job, right? They kept it. They they he did do like a flippity di- like two. I want to I want to say two like flippity two flippity dippities. <laughs> two flip two. <laughs> he did two flippity dippities, but it was grounded. Right. No the one CGI. where he goes over the fence. Uh, remember the fence, and he does that kick. Shit? Yes. Yes. That was one cool that we never really saw in daredevil show he never no, went that high that's true that that's shit, true that's right? true we never seen anything could have been like a stunt double well yeah but you know what i mean no right? i know like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that but it was it was believable enough where it had that balance of like grounded and it had that comic book acrobatic a- element shit, right cool the other part that i really liked i think i know what you're gonna that say i really like that he does in the comics and i think if maybe in the animated shows he might have done as well uh is obviously when he uses the baton things, right? Okay. But the one where he jumps on his back and he does this, like he yes. has, his, he has his uh, through that like through that shelf, through right? that shelf, and he he jumps and he has his uh, hands arms, his arms out. out, and he lands on his he lands on his back and he rolls. That was hard, bro. <laughs> he does that in the comics, and that's how he is. When he jumps off, he does that, dude. When I saw that, I was like, yo, that's fire, man. <laughs> I get down, I'm like, no way. Like this is this is what I like. I like this. This seems like a perfect balance of the flippity dippity, not too much, right? And not that it's trying CGI. to keep it grounded, exactly, right? Now let me get to my issues with the fight scene. Okay. 
<sighs> the fight scene, even though it is reminiscent to the Netflix Daredevil, right? Yes. I just thought that some parts weren't necessarily connecting. The, mm. chore- the choreography. There were some parts where it seemed like you don't really feel the hit. Like mm. it's a miss, kind of. Compared, I'm I'm comparing to the Netflix show, obviously. Okay. And it seems like they're kind of going back and forth, not necessarily playing offensive and someone's playing a defense or whatever. It's kind of like you hit me, now I hit you, type of thing. Mm-hmm. And there's a specific moment where I uh, echo like tries to kick him in the face, but like she's like holding her leg in the air for a while. And then Daredevil was like looking at it, and then she flings it, and then he gets hit. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I like that though. I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, you know what I'm talking about? Which she part? held it. No, yeah. Okay. She did it. No, I know what you're talking about, but that's mm-hmm. that's like a real technique. That's like a real thing that fighters do. Because it's one of those things where, like, they flinch, but when they flinch, they come back, and then that's where you get them. So when she did that, I was but, like, oh, she tried to dupe him. That's crazy. But, but that's a real technique that people. Yeah, do. but I don't know. If, like, I don't buy that. I don't buy Daredevil like getting hit by that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I didn't necessarily buy that. And even some shots were like, they try filming, like, uh, from Daredevil's, like, back or whatever. You know, when he, like, punches her in her face, like, and she does, the, she, like, knocks her head back. Mm. To me, it didn't seem like it connects. It connects. I feel you on that. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, 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 see that. I, I felt the same Com- way about the Compare it to the show, have like, you feel that, those punches and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you could feel it. You could see it. With this, it didn't seem that way. And I think it's because they, I don't know, maybe, like, obviously it's difficult doing, like, a one, like, shot, right? Maybe it was just difficult to capture that, but then again, we saw it in the, in the show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I think I think those were my only issues. It, it seemed like some hits weren't connecting. You didn't feel, like, the hit. You didn't feel the hits. And sometimes it just seemed like they weren't necessarily playing, like, a role. Like, someone's going to offensive, defense. It was more so, like... I hit you. Now I'm waiting for you to hit me. All right, you just hit me. Now I'm gonna hit you. Does that make sense? It's, it's too super choreographed. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. I don't. Know, it's super hard to explain. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. And I, I think that's mean. my only issue. But everything else that we talked about, hey man, it's a dub, man. I like the little flippity dip over the fence. I like yeah. the little <laughs> whatever. And like, I like the part where like he had, where he like where she tries punching him. He ducks and he hits her like this, and he doesn't even look at her. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Like he like he like ducks and he hits her with the shit and he just walks forward, doesn't even look at her, and then he turns around. It's like, dude, that's hard as fuck, man. I don't explain it. He's in the trailer. We saw the trailer. No, I know what you mean. Doesn't he do that shit in the Netflix show too? I can't remember, bro. Mm. But that shit was hard. That shit was hard as fuck. Dude, I can't wait for Mario to watch Dirtout. But anyways, he doesn't want to. It's not that I don't want to. It's just three seasons, almost an hour long. So what, bitch? You watch anime and shit like nothing. I watch watch One Piece. No, I'm not. Not anymore. You started One Piece. I started it. Thousand episodes, motherfucker. Hell no. I started. I'll pick it up. Who knows when? But like, no, yeah, bro, dude, Daredevil, bro. Uh, Well, all right. Well, listen. You don't want to watch Daredevil. I don't want to hear no complaining. But these, ne- these MCU shows are made as hell, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're here recommending you a fire one. You don't want to watch it? It's fire, bro. So just, all it's right. The then best. deal with it. Hey, it's man, I, best, saw, I saw Iron Fist. Iron Fist was good. Even though people were like, like I said, not sh- were shitting on it. I, I, I never really? watched Iron wow. Fist. But like, yeah, that's crazy. But you can even ask Hector, like, it's of good. the shows, what's better? Oh, they're Dude, double. Iron Fist. Like, Iron Fist, I would say, I, th- I would say Iron Fist is good. But it is definitely one of the weaker out of all the shows. Yeah. But Iron Fist alone, girl, is if, way if, better if, than She-Hulk. If I'm being way really honest, the one I that intrigues me the most is The Punisher. That one's fire. Mm. But honestly, I would recommend watching Daredevil Daredevil, first. because he's introduced there. And that show springboards off of season two. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you're going to see some characters from the show Daredevil, and you're going to be like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, exactly. Hey, do you remember the time when we were late? And you're going to be like, no, I don't remember that time. That's because you didn't see the show. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. For real. Yeah. But yeah, man, you'd love Daredevil. But no, Punisher's fire too. But anyways, man, this is an Echo show. We ain't even talking about this bit, man. I, know. I mean, we, we, we talked about the first episode, the first fight scene. Hey, 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 listen, man. And I'm now down. We're about how <laughs> I'm down to keep continuing talking about Daredevil, bro. He's fire. It's a hey, fire man, show. Hey, but sadly, this is it's a, leagues this, better this, than this, any this, MCU show. This is an Echo review, not a Daredevil review. <laughs> that time will come when you get across a man in, in, in Cape shit. Trust me, Hop. Huh? 
shit. That's so funny, dude. But sadly, we got to talk about the rest of that episode and the next four episodes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, let's just talk matter. about like the main like things, right? Let's uh, yeah. Like um, the first thing that we see Echo or yeah. Maya do is that she tries to sabotage like Fisk's like whole like business. Like she tries to sabotage that train, mm. and like tries to sabotage that like that one like what was that like little spot that she blows up eventually. Uh, it was like it was, like, I think, uh, it was a warehouse full of like Fisk's like weapons. And yeah, yeah, so she likes trying to sabotage Fisk's, Fisk's like business, and eventually the people get involved and they come over and they start like attacking. Her friend or D- uncle yeah. or whoever that does is, it, the, guy, the guy that owns the skate. In Hawkeye, does it show why she um, like has this resentment towards Fisk? Yeah, right. Why she does? Yeah. And Ho- is it in Hawkeye or is it introduced No, it's, here? it's because Hawkeye told her that Fisk killed her father. Yes. That's yeah. why she has a resentment towards yeah, That's Fisk. why. Yeah. Because she was originally uh, she was originally going after Ronan uh-huh. or Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Dude, I don't remember that scene where like he, he where was, she shoots him. Where she, where she, yes, yeah, where she bro, that him. was in the hot. I don't remember show. that. Yeah. Scene, bro. He points I the do. gun at him and shoots him. That's what you remember. Like, Ain't no way. I was like, Hector, that's from two years ago, bro. Did I react the same way when I saw? Hawkeye? I don't remember. I don't remember. Unless you never ago. saw the Hawkeye show, I bitch. did. I did, girl. What you mean? So, I did. So then, I don't remember, bro. I saw it once. That's crazy. I, I don't remember. I saw it once, and I remembered Wilson Fisk getting shot in the face. I remembered it because I, I go. This is before I saw Daredevil. That's probably why. It no, it was. It was. was. It? it was because Hawkeye and No Way Home came out around the same time. Mm. And I remember you said that yeah, when I didn't you see were Daredevil. in the. Yeah. I remember you said it when you went to the movie theater. People oh. were screaming and like, "Oh shit, it's Matt Murdock!" That you were like, "Why are people freaking out?" Yeah, because you didn't know at the time that that's the same actor and everything. I knew it was Daredevil from Dare. I knew you knew it was Daredevil. Yeah. But you didn't know that was Charlie Cox no, I didn't know. from no, the I Netflix didn't. show. Absolutely not. Yeah. That's why. So, yeah. You I'm upset probably, about that, man. Oh, you man. Out the hype, oh, bro. that moment. I missed that on that moment, dude. Bro, I was like, Damn. dude, I missed that on that moment. I was like, oh, that shit. Sucks. As soon as you see the king. Hey, those moments be like the best, though. Hell when yeah, the, when you're like, oh, oh shit. Hell oh, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. How'd you do that? I'm just, I'm a good lawyer. <laughs> yeah, I just I hate that MCU man. humor bullshit. Bro. Just a good just lawyer, huh? Like, fuck off, bro. I hate jokes. <laughs> I hate jokes Catches like a that. break. Aren't you blind? I'm a just good. I'm a good lawyer. Shut up. Yeah, like Why I just hate stupid you? humor. Like, and that. nobody questions them even further. It's like, all right, yeah, yeah, right. A blind guy just caught a brick out of my window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take his word for it. I guess. Fuck it. Yeah. Fun no, fact. But, did you know that brick was supposed to be a snow globe? I heard about that, yeah. And that's why his hand shaped like as a circle when yeah. he caught the brick. Yeah. And it looks off. Why did they change that? I don't know, bro. It's fucking MCU. They CGI everything. Man. That's facts. Bro, literally 99% of the shots in No Way Home were in front of green screens, bro. That's crazy. It was filmed during COVID. They couldn't really do much. Mm-hmm. So it is what it is. But, but anyways, oh yeah. Uh, with Okay, so that answers my questions. But yeah, Echo is trying to... Sabotage his business set, and yeah. everything. She's trying to be the queen pin. Or something, shit. right? She's just trying to take down his whole empire. But let's let's go back a little bit, because we see like okay, her ethnicity obviously is like Native American, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I I'm trying to remember if it's like that in the comics. I don't think so. Is she like know. a fairly new character? Uh, I don't know. Somewhat. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know too much about Echo besides that. Like she's like a good like friend with a uh, Daredevil. Mm, okay. But the whole Native Americans, like I said, I I'm gonna be honest. Like I said, I don't have much knowledge about her. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'm not sure if that's necessarily accurate, but like what they describe it here is kind of strange, right? We get like the shot of this Native American looking people that are kind of like. It reminds me like they have like skin of like trees or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. bark or some shit. But yeah. it's like. Because in every episode in the beginning, we get these quick glimpses of like future ge- of generations in the yeah. past that apparently you find out eventually are her ancestors of her exactly. family and stuff like and that. And they have like this power where they help one of their bloodline or whatever mm-hmm. one of the times of need or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, and that's how she is. gets her powers. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Call me a fake fan. Okay. But when those scenes would come up, I'm like, why am I watching this? This feels like nothing that has to do with the Echo show. Like in the one episode <laughs> when they were just like playing a rugby game or whatever. Remember that? Oh, oh in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. literally this is literally what I did. I said, "Why am I watching this? This is had nothing to do with Echo." I skipped that scene. Hav, Hav is the show that their ancestors are being helped by their ancestors, bro. 
Remember the beginning of each show, they're like, oh my God, like, I want to do this, I want to do that. It's like, no, you can't, they're losing. And then their ancestors help them by giving them powers and then they overcome. That's what happened in that shit. Yeah. She, she won the game by that, by her ancestors helping yeah, her. Yeah, helping she got her powers with her powers. Same with that uh, one episode where like, daddy, I want to be a light horseman. Hell no. Nah. Women are girth, uh, women are, women are uh, birth givers. Men are, no, what is it again? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, it's like the light horsemen or some shit. They're like these uh, Native American gangs, I guess. I don't like cowboy shit. I don't fucking know. I want to be a light horseman. Then he's like, "Oh no, women are um, life givers, uh-huh. and men are life takers." He says something like that, mm. and then she's like, "Man, what the fuck?" And she runs away. Remember, remember, it was like the Western. Like I skipped that one too. Oh, you skipped that shit. That, that oh, was. That oh, was, that was wait, that wait, was, hold up. That's the 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 fucking the black and white, and it was the black and white shit. You skipped yeah, that too. Yeah, huh? you, you skipped that too. Bro, I want. So, anyway, so bad. that's what. Okay, so it's like in the West type of era, right? Right. And there's these gang or these people. Uh-huh. I forgot what they, warriors or something. Some shit know, like that. Yeah. Called the Light Horsemen. Okay. And so this girl, this daughter, is she's like, "Hey, Dad, I want to be a Light Horseman," and that's where he says, "No, you can't. You're a woman." Women are, you know, are life givers and men are life takers. And she gets all upset and she runs in the woods, right? And as, like, she's running in the woods, her father and his gang, they go in the woods as well. Not to chase her, but, like, somewhere else to, like, fight some other gang or some shit or, like, whatever. And then we get glimpses of her, like, putting on braids. And because she says, she says, oh, only warriors or only men can wear braids. And she's like going against the agenda because she's giving herself braids or whatever. And so her father and his gang are like in the woods like, yo, where do people at? And they lay, look at something and it's a trap. Oh shit, it's a trap. They get ambushed, right? Oh fuck, people are dying. Like his gang members are dying. He, he's like shooting this shit. And then what What do you think happens off? The daughter comes in and saves the day with the power of the ancestors. Absolutely. She comes in here like Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, motherfuckers. And stands like on a hill, wide open, <laughs> just dead shouting, motherfuckers, like with dead eyes. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny as fuck. And then the dad is like doing the Native American scream, like, hell yeah, my daughter's here. <laughs> right? And that's basically how that goes. And same with every other thing. Like, remember the girl that was playing that sport thing? Mm-hmm. That's how it goes. It's like they want to do something, they're, they're they're getting beaten and they're whatever, right? And they overcome because of their ancestors and need uh, saves them. And gotcha, shit. gotcha. Yeah, bro. It was. Uh, but I would just skip all. Bro, I, I was getting I when that when I saw that black and white shit, I was like, oh no, fucking Wandavision all over again. I was like, fucking crazy. <laughs> like no, no I'm, I got tired. Though, with Wandavision, that was interesting though. No, oh, that was ten times better. But even then, yeah. I I skipped that. I was like, no, I can't skip this either. Yeah. So essentially, guys, we just find out that Echo is part of. You know, um, Native the, American tribe, from Native Jordan American ancestry. tribe, exactly. They have actual powers mm-hmm. and shit. Mm-hmm. And oh, wait, and also she got. I guess one unique thing is she got a missing leg. She's an amputee. Mm-hmm. Is that that's not a thing in the comics, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. So in the comics, she can't speak either. She only can no, she's mute and does sign language. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But, but the like whole the amputee whole... thing, I don't think so. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's cool, right? And we find out that's because like when she was a kid. Her mom is also deaf. Yep. Right. And they were um, driving. Driving, right? It was a rainy day. They wanted some hot cocoa or some shit. Yeah. And her, her mom's like car, her brake lines, I guess, bro- somebody cut somebody them. Cut somebody them. cut them. Somebody cut them. And crosses the intersection, gets T bone like the last of us shit. Facts. And her mother dies in that car crash while leaving um, Maya wounded and. Yeah, basically, yeah, became an amputee, basically, mm-hmm, with, the, mm-hmm. with her leg. Mm-hmm. And that's how she gets that. And obviously that's sad, and we find out that's because her father was obviously involved with Kingpin and mm-hmm. stuff. You know what I mean? And he ordered the hit. Yeah. To be like, you know what? Sorry. Fuck him up and kill him. We might have to pause real quick. Yo, uh, what's up, guys? We're we're back. We had to make a little quick detour, I guess, man. We're in, uh, we're in Javi's car. Yeah cold as hell outside <laughs> you're probably wondering why well we got interrupted by you know my family my family got home super loud you could hear it through the mics it was not gonna lie unbearable and so we decided you know what we were like you know what let's wait it out but it was uh non-stop it was non-stop man it was it was bad so we're like you know what dude we got to get this shit done have preheat the car 
let's get it rock and rolling. Now we're in the car. Mm-hmm. Right, so now we might sound different. A little bit yeah. of an echo. Yeah. Well, it might sound Not different. Too bad. Wait, what'd you say? I would say I said a little bit of echo, but that's really that's like the. I mean, that's word. perfect. That's fitting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said a little bit of echo. That's that's fucking uh, no. fitting, bitch. Anyways, guys. We're gonna think. Uh, I mean, we're gonna uh, talk about where we left off. I think is where we left off. Hoff says we were talking about um, the ancestors and the shit. ancestors and how like they were giving each other powers. And shit oh like yeah, that. yeah. Because each episode had like an ancestor type intro, of, type of intro shit that you skipped. I skipped all that shit. How come off? Because like I was just like, why are they watching? This? Like it has nothing to do with the fucking with the fucking show. Yeah. And I'm sure by like by the end, right? Like. Like it kind of all came together. Yeah. But here's the thing. Ready? <laughs> here's the thing. Ready? I yeah. skipped all those scenes and I still watched the last episode and I understood what went now. Yeah. I understood what happened. Mm-hmm. And I was like, so even then, like, no, I didn't have to watch the clips. Yeah. Well, okay. So that's so yeah. So after the whole incident with the mother, right? She dies and stuff. Her father is kind of like disowned by their family. Yeah. Right. And she, he ends up, obviously he's in the area like working with Kingpin. He ends up taking his daughter to New York. And that's where she ends up growing up for the past, you know, 20 years. Until she t- decides to come back to her town to try to rebuild some certain connections um, with, I think, what was it? Her uncle? Her other, who was that guy? Henry, was his Which name one? Henry? His name is Henry, but I forgot. Oh, that guy. I think it's an uncle. An uncle, right? Something like he that. Go, she goes to Henry to basically seek assistance for her to take down. Yeah. Kingpin's yes, like, um, what's it called? Um, like empire, essentially. Yeah. And then throughout the show, we find out obviously Kingpin is alive, and he got shot, bro. He got shot in the head, like in the face, like right. an eye, but like he still has his eye. Mm-hmm. That confused like, the shit out of me. Ain't gonna lie to you. I what thought you? he got shot next to the eye, like right here. You think so? Mm. That's what. That's where the hole looked like it was. But don't you think like Echo would have like seen that? He's like, oh shit, I missed. And well, how that, did she miss him with that close range? You know? I don't think it's so much that you missed. I think she just got a headshot. It was a shot to the face. But it, if it grazed his eye, it wasn't really a headshot. It shot. didn't graze him. It went in. But how does he still have his eye? <laughs> it didn't go inside his eye. It went into his face. I still, I still feel... Oh, wait, what? See what I mean? I'm already confused. I'm confused. Like, it didn't go right into his eye. It went into, like... Like, the, the side of his shit? Yeah. That's where the that's where the wound looked like it was. I don't know, man. Point realistically, is, realistically, no human could survive that. <laughs> but this is the MCU, and Kingpin literally just got brought into the MCU. What, just to kill him off? No. For real? Hell no. Yeah, so he's alive, right? And she's like shocked. She's like, "What the fuck's yeah. going on?" She finally sees him like standing outside of her house. Yeah, and surprisingly, we don't like they kind of get along. Like she's not immediately trying to kill him. And she like remember uh, when he meets her outside of his outside of her house, mm. like she grabs her and like puts that fucking eye contact thing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. where she could re like that's pretty cool though. That is cool. Yeah. That is very cool. Like imagine if that was real though. That'd be fire. That would be cool as fuck, right? And then they have <laughs> this is a little nitpick. Remember they're like, oh, I want to have like a Sunday dinner. She's like, it's like it's Thursday, right? Too. No, but here's the thing. Ready? They had the whole conversation because the whole goal, guys, is that even though she tried killing Kingpin, Kingpin is like very forgiving, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Hey, man, let bygones be bygones, man. Like, come work with me. Mm. I can make. I can give you everything. You want power? I got that. I could do. I could. I could give you that." Mm-hmm. So when they have that combo, right? And like Kingpin is like, um, he takes his lunch. Remember, he takes his lunch out and shit. Then he, he yeah. doesn't even eat, bro. He just finishes a combo and he leaves. Dude, nobody yeah, ate. I saw and that. Nobody ate. Have you noticed I saw that? that? Yeah, I saw that. I was bro. like, what the fuck? No, I just, yeah. oh, it's not a critique. It's just something that I saw that was kind of funny. Because it's like he literally just took out his meals and everything and he just said, all right, well, here's what I want. Take it or leave it. And he leaves. He's <laughs> like, all right. Enjoy cool. my food. Yeah. Mom's spaghetti. And so obviously, throughout this, Kingpin obviously threatens. Um, or actually, what happens after that? She decides not to, right? Uh-uh. She decides not to take um, uh, what's it called? Take the offer, right? Right. And then she starts like seeing shit more because of her ancestors. Because he tells her like, "I hope to see you on the plane." Yeah. But she never ends up going. Mm-hmm. Remember that her Fisk's men like follow her until he's like, "Hey, boss, we lost track of her. We don't know where she went." Mm-hmm. And he like freaks oh, out in the plane. Remember, he like gets mad at yeah. shit. 
And she's all, what? actually, did she, so she she left the town at that point? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So are we past the part where, like, she went to go seek her grandmother for answers? No, no, that happened before. So we passed that part, yes. right? Yeah, so, yeah, she finds out, like, her, the, the she she basically finds out what who, who are, her ancestors are. <clears throat> what yeah the legend the legend and exactly. how like they can pass their powers like generations and stuff like generations, that and all that bullshit yeah. which is basically what we were seeing in those intros of those episodes right of all the beginning of the every episode yeah and um, apparently they weren't people like they were something that they eventually turned to people to humans like what I, I, forgot, I forgot what it was I, f- I forgot how they explained it but to me, it's like, what? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, well, they're aliens? Like, what the fuck? I, it's something about a cave. How she, the, the Chaffa or some shit? Something. something like that. She freed her people from the cave or something. I remember and that. And that's how they became right. humans. Yeah. Some shit like that. That scene, I was like, what was the point of that? Okay, I guess. Now we're on to Echo. Next episode is a rugby game. What the fuck is the point of this? And then I skipped it. <laughs> wow, wow, what? And then uh, the Old West scenes. I skipped that. What the fuck? Was there any more of those scenes? Out? No, uh, there were a bunch no. of more. There were other flashbacks, but it was all Kingpin shit. Remember when Kingpin drags that dude into the alley and beats the shit out of him? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we see Echo's, like, her upbringing. Violent, yeah, we see her upbringing, her violent tendencies. And it makes me wonder. I don't know if like, this is an actual, like, thing or whatever. But it makes me wonder. Do you think, like, Kingpin purposely, like, killed like her mother and father to like get access to her maybe you know what i mean mm-hmm. like have you ever thought about that yeah, have you guys thought be. about that i mean, I mean yeah that's like what some, i've been thinking that sounds like some kingpin shit that he yeah. would do but like for what mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's mm-hmm. super weird and okay so after that right after kingpin like proposes that deal and she ends up rejecting it what happens after that hop do you remember her, <clears throat> well, which part? Which part are we at? We uh, bounced. We bounced back and forth. No, we're back at the part where you um, mentioned that he she goes and visits her grandma. Her grandma tells her about her ancestors, the power yeah. shit. And then mm-hmm. what? Then we're back at the. Uh, she rejects Kingpin's offer. Right. So she ends up like getting on the bike and she drives off away from the city. Mm-hmm. Fisk's men were chasing her, following her, like tailing her, and then yeah. they lose sight of her and they're like, "Hey, sorry, boss, she got away." Mm-hmm. And so out of anger. Kingpin goes and sends her her his guys out to kidnap her grandma and her best mm, friend yeah, Bonnie. Yeah, yeah, yes. Which before we move on any further, I do want to bring this up because uh, this is something worth noting, and that is that uh, this uh, show suffers, I believe, from having a main character that you care about. Like I like I think I kind of like I'm attached to Maya. Like I understand mm-hmm. like her story and everything. But this problem, the show, this this show suffers that it doesn't do a very good job of establishing her relationship with the other people around her. Yeah, I found myself not caring about any of the support characters in this show like other Bonnie. than Kingpin. Yeah. So here's my example, right? There's this whole thing where she comes back to town, and Henry, who's the only support character I actually give a fuck about because he was cool. Um, also, Biscuits was pretty cool. But he doesn't do shit. He's just some comedic relief. He just, of, he just, of, he just of, did out one mission for her. Like, that's it. He felt very cartoony. Let's be real. He's very yeah. like. He's very like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fido. Grandma's really gonna. <laughs> is really gonna chew our butt off if she sees the way the truck yeah, is. Yeah, like. Yeah. Oh my god. We better scatter. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's like a cartoon. I'm like, bro. No one uh, talks like that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Javi's crazy. Bro, right what now. the fuck is that bullshit? Javi met his <laughs> Fuck man, Fido. We better. Grandma's gonna kill me when she sees what we did to the troops. Let's go. Let's get the. <laughs> fuck out of here man we better <laughs> he has a dog named billy jack and we better do <laughs> come on billy jack yeah like come on billy jack this is raps man grandma me mom gonna, gonna get mad up. when she see what we did to her truck let's let's act like rats and scatter and like, he was, like selling his ps4 and shit yeah it's like what the I got fuck a PS4. dude like Long irrelevant the like, dude that she goes to see like that fixes up like a uh, some weaponized he was cool. leg he was cool i guess but it's like that's all he does like too, like he just kind of like there hits on the grandma. I I, th- I thought he was used like to the like it when bro. I talked Indian to you. Remember that shit? Used to get real yeah, spicy. Right. It's like what the yeah, fuck? bro. He was like, oh, yeah, he tried to get at her. Yeah, bro. and then yeah. like he like has one talk with with biscuits, and then one talk with Maya, and like that's it. What the fuck? Yeah. And then like I thought he was a grandfather. 
I don't know who he is. I don't give a fuck. I, thought I, he I think he is the grandfather. Oh, he is. I think so. I oh, know. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. So is she, so is is he split? He split up with his wife. Uh, maybe ever since since the, they lost their the daughter. Incident? Oh, maybe. Shit. I honestly that could be the know. cause of it. Another issue, bro, is like that whole that that other bitch, Bonnie. Okay. Uh, like no one gives a fuck. <laughs> it was this whole thing where it's like, is this thing where it's like, oh, like you're back home, mm-hmm. you're back in town. Like, what if Bonnie finds out? Her sign language bullshit. Like she's never gonna find out. It's like if she finds out that you came to town and you didn't see her, it's gonna be an issue. And there's a scene where she's like, I guess she works at the fire station. Yeah. yeah. And so she's looking at her from like behind an alley, typical bullshit. Yeah. Where like she's like looking at it from afar, like stalking and, her and shit. Yeah. She and then she drives basket. off. And she <laughs> drives off. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> they maybe interacted in person like twice. Well, they were like. Cause she comes in like she gets like, remember she the gets first like time, yeah the first time they meet was when they were when they were being kidnapped. held hostage yeah held hostage with that one guy and she was like you're not gonna talk about how like you're in town like what were you gonna tell me she's like can't talk about this right now we gotta get the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah this is Fisk's, this is Fisk's men they're gonna kill us we gotta go we gotta find a way out and so like avoids the conversation barely any screen time with these two characters barely mm-hmm. any dialogue between the because even when they get when they escape like not, not some set of, like there's no sense of like closure no there isn't like yeah. I understand that like they were trying to make us believe that they were friends because they showed them flashbacks like of them yeah, as but, little girls playing but, but 20 like years bro not seeing each other exactly like yeah. and it's like well that's the point there's full feel feel disconnected but I didn't even feel like they were friends before because just the dialogue and the chemistry between Maya and Bonnie didn't feel real yeah. I felt like the connection with her and her grandma didn't feel real. One conversation, mm. you abandoned me and blah, 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 and, like, you you just basically disowned me. Like, I didn't feel like she ever got closure or anything from that. And now the grandma's trying yeah. to sit her down, trying to feed her some wisdom about some ancestry powers bullshit, and it's like, oh, we're supposed to believe, like, that they're cool now? Like, I didn't even believe that. Yeah. So my issue is, other than Henry, Biscuits, the shop owner, the grandma, Bonnie, I didn't give a fuck about any support characters. Mm-hmm. Other than Henry, because he was the only motherfucker that actually looked out for her and was like, you can't keep getting involved with these people, blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Like, he was in the shit. Like, even he was being held hostage because because Fisk's men came and fucking raided uh, the skate shop because the yeah. dude that was that was running the cashier was in on with, with, with uh, Fisk's men. Mm-hmm. So he's really the only one that I cared about because he was the only one that was actually looking out for Maya. Mm-hmm. And he was actually like, you can't keep going down this road. Like, you're going to get yourself killed, blah, blah, blah. You're going to bring the the world of hell on Pranos, blah, blah, blah. So, like, I get that, and I actually did f- connect with him. But, bro, everyone else, other than Kingpin and him, I didn't give a fuck about any of the side characters. And the show tries to make you believe that they're, that they're all, like, close or whatever the fuck, and you don't feel it. Even at the end of the episode, we're sk- I'm going to skip ahead. To where she has that final showdown with k- fucking Kingpin. Oh, yeah. And she, like, <laughs> instills the powers of the, the ancestors. ancestors. Yeah. And then she passes it to her grandma and, <laughs> and Bonnie, Bonnie. And then they start throwing down. And it's like, the I grandma don't... Grandma throwing hands, bro. And my thing is, like, I don't feel this like that connection. connection. Like, oh, shit. This connection that, like, oh, I gave my family powers. Bullshit. Like, because mm-hmm. I, I didn't feel like there was any connection. Like, honestly, they were, like... You know, they had, like, the guns or whatever or knives to yeah. to their throats. I'm like, you could slit their throats right now, and I wouldn't give a fuck. Because, like, the show doesn't Damn. do a very good job of Damn. getting you to connect to these characters. Yeah. Dude, I'm honest to God. I did not give a Bef- fuck about anybody. Before, before we go on, I want to ask Mario. What about you, Mario? What did you think about these characters? The side characters, bro. Biscuits, the grandma, Bonnie, these these, these people, bro. Uh, the, Honestly, the Give your take, the, bro. I, I kind of just kind of agree with Hob because this whole show feels just kind of rushed. Like, we would have some... I Like, in my personal opinion, I think the most... Like, the best connection I had was f- with Fisk and Maya. Those two. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fisk kind of carries the show for me, so I feel like he was really the standout. That's Maya, crazy, Which bro. is messed up, because this show's about Maya. It's not about Fisk. Right, Fisk right, is right, right, a, right. A, 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 the bad guy for this show. Mm-hmm. And the fact that I, I feel like I was more moved, more wowed by his performance rather than Maya's... Yeah. yeah. I think just said something, and I really just never really gave a damn about anybody else. What about Henry, the dude that owned the shop, the, skate, ah, the roller rink? Same thing. I didn't really care really? about him. Really? He was, I will admit, he was the only one I cared for. Everyone yeah. else, though, I'm like, fucking biscuits, yeah, he, cartoony well, yeah. ass. I think it's because, like, maybe he's the first character that we get introduced to where he's actually trying to help Maya, and, like, he's in the shits like what you said, and he's actually going through everything with mm. her. And, I, w- I mean, I would say the same thing. I Especially, like, I don't really care about Bonnie. Even though, Dude. like, they use her as, like, hostage and shit. Bro. And you're supposed to, you're, like, they're supposed to feel, you're supposed to feel that suspense. Oh, no. 
little body. Yeah. But it's like, I don't really right, care. It's just, it's just Rush. But it's the just thing, is, but bro, Rush. it's like of all the side characters, she was the one that I least gave a fuck about. Yeah. We didn't get the yeah, least. We didn't, we didn't enough like screen time. No, not like, at all. There's supposed to be like this heavy weight between their friendship relationship, and there's just there's nothing there. Oh, because showing us flashbacks of yeah. them being best friends as a kids mm. should be enough, and it's like no, bitch. Uh, it's like, well, what do you mean though? They're not. Of course, they don't have chemistry. Of course, they're not connected. They split up. Twenty years. Twenty years. That does, that doesn't make sense. Even when she's like sign languaging, right? She, even when she mm. was like, "Where did you go? You never reached out. You never sent a letter." I didn't feel. Feel that her like hurt of being like you never reached yeah. out you never came back to visit blah 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 like I didn't even feel and that. Only that Echo didn't give a fuck either. That's yeah. true. That's like true. Echo didn't give a fuck either, bro. Yeah. She wasn't like there was not a moment where like she felt guilt or remorse. She felt guilt and and they didn't, we didn't have that com- one-on-one conversation where she felt guilt or whatever. She just she just didn't care, bro. Like yeah. Us. Like, yes. So why would we care? Yes. If if the main character doesn't care about her friend, why would we care? That's facts. You know. It's- so. It, it's just fucked because if we ever see Maya ever again, yeah. we will. We, I mean, we will. But I'm talking about if we ever, whenever we do, none of these people are going to be involved in that. Like yeah. this is the first and last time we're going to see all these Probably, side characters. Yeah. Besides, Probably, yeah. besides uh, uh, the, the villain, I forgot his name. Kingpin. Kingpin. Yeah. Besides him, obviously. Like we're not going to see Bonnie. We're not going to see the old guy. We're not going to see Frank. We're not. Gonna, we're probably not going to see any of the guys ever again. It's a very low Who's chance. Frank. I thought Frank was that one who was trying to help him out, help her out. Henry. Huh? Oh, Henry, there you go, that guy. <laughs> My bad. I thought, right. I thought his name was Frank. But yeah, bro, it, 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 there's these ki- these relationships are supposed to carry weight, be- but but because it's only five episodes and they did a poor job of executing uh, executing the fact that we're supposed to care with about these characters, yes. they, not, none of these scenes that are supposed to have weight behind it have zero weight behind it. Mm-hmm. So in the mm-hmm. turn, we just don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's basically how it is. Yeah, um, then, yeah go ahead. I was going to say something. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say that... Um, that I also have two issues with... Oh, here we go. Uh, notes? No, no, sorry. Oh, I was just checking my phone. Oh, okay. I have two issues that I have with the last episode. Okay. Of this show. Oh, yeah. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. I have some issues. Like, okay, so after we get to the last... The, so what happened was out of... She rejected the offer and um, Fisk, it, out of rage, kidnaps his grandmother, Bonnie. We also get a scene where, like... Um, Echo pulls up to Fisk and I like this scene I think Mario uh, likes this scene too where he talks about like his father and stuff oh wow oh, this like, is my favorite fa- shit about your father, the show your father is gone because you killed him and it's he has that hammer he's like, he's like yeah I mean he uh, he felt powerful when he abused my mother or whatever and I just wanted to free myself yeah so I killed him, and then he flips it on hers, like, go ahead. And I see you as, like, my daughter, like, some bullshit. Yeah. He's like, free yourself. Free yourself. And hands her the hammer. He's like, go on, kill me. Which, free fun yourself. fact, Mario, that she hammer, are. even the hammer has lore. Yeah, for real. Even that hammer has back. that hammer has oh, backstory yeah. in the Netflix show, the yeah. Daredevil show. Ah. You're going to see why that hammer was such a big part in his life. You just got to watch the Daredevil show. Okay. So, yeah. That was but, a reference to the Daredevil show. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that whole scene, bro, is fine. I'm just saying, man. I like that. It's just what's going what's man. He the goat, man. He the goat. He the goat. Like, the goat. That's Makes, my favorite part, bro. It would make this. It would make sense that for the street level heroes, that you would want to make him the main guy. Oh fuck yeah, dude. You know what I mean? That'd be sick as fuck. But like that whole scene, like, it's so weird how Fisk is obviously the villain, but yet like we can feel like, in a sense, his hurt. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's super weird. Because mm-hmm. I know he's a villain. We're not supposed to like him. But you could also feel that sense of, like, hurt. And you could actually feel that he actually does care about Maya. Maya. Yeah. Where, which has, like, other supporting characters, you don't necessarily feel that. Like, you don't see that. You don't buy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. That's just how I saw it. But anyways, that's a cool scene. What, you want to talk more about it, Mara? No, I was going to say, when I was watching this part, I was laying in my bed, bro. I was getting sleepy because this show yeah, was making me sleepy, it. right? And when this scene popped up and it was going on, it he woke, woke up. me up. Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you were bitch. As but soon no. as it was over, he went back to sleep. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong. But as as soon as this scene popped up, I was just like, "Oh, why is this actually fire?" Whoa! Shit. Maya fire. and Kingpin. This scene, like, I I actually feel a connection here because the writing was good, the acting was good. Mm-hmm. You could tell that Kingpin genuinely wanted Maya to to hit him and kill him because, like, he genuinely does care about Maya. And I thought this scene was probably like the best writing 
Best yeah. episode in the series, in my opinion. Wow, well, yeah. I don't know about you, Hob. I don't know what you thought about this episode or um, that scene. Um, yeah, I can agree. The last, fourth episode was pretty good. Kingpin carried mostly, though. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Fact. Okay, so anyways, with that out the way, right? Yes. We have fucking Kingpin, out of retaliation, man. You don't want to fine. You don't want to side with me, bitch. Fuck you. I'm gonna kidnap your shit. Mm. He kidnaps Bonnie, the grandmother, and then obviously. Echo is like, you know what? Fuck this. Like, I'm going to kill Kingpin. I want to kill Kingpin, and I want to be the queen pin. Mm. Like, I don't, I want to take all of this shit. Right. right. So, anyways, now we're now we're at this last episode where mm-hmm. they have that showdown. Mm-hmm. Oh, you you want to see? The showdown right? hoedown. Go ahead, Hav. Like, talk about the shit that you didn't like. So, stuff. there's two things about the last episode that I was not fucking with. First okay. of all, the first thing that I didn't like about this last episode is that it suffers from the same fucking bullshit that every other MCU suffers and that is that the last episode is the shortest episode yeah yeah dude oh my god dude I finished yeah Yeah. as soon as we left the the AMC after watching ISS Uh. I turned that bitch on I I turned the last episode of Echo because I didn't finish it from beginning to end and I finished it right here when we got here yeah bro like it's the shortest. Short but not only that, bro, but like every MCU Disney Plus show has had short episodes as their last episode. And here's why it's an issue because I eventually cuz obviously obviously the last episode is like the showdown. It's going to yeah. be the showdown between the hero of whoever the show's about against the villain in that show. Yeah. If it's w- WandaVision against Agatha Mm-hmm. Right, it's Falcon and Bucky going up against the terrorist people. Mm-hmm. It's Loki going up against Sylvie trying to kill He Who Remains. It's Hawkeye going up against Wilson Fisk and his people. Like you know, it's always the showdown. And the problem is that with the last episode being the shortest, the showdown is only like three minutes long. Yeah, because time wise, they don't have enough time to flesh out a whole fucking third act fight like in the movies because. The shortest because oh we're in the last episode but it's thirty one minutes oh wait five minute credits it's actually twenty six what the fuck bro short ass episode and so yeah, we're supposed to believe that the showdown between these two people only lasted three minutes mm-hmm. I sat through six episodes <laughs> or in She Hulk's case right eight to just see like a showdown that like only lasted three minutes like this is what the season finale is gonna be like this is what the showdown led to and it's like it doesn't feel right. Mm-hmm. That's my issue is that I hate that all these shows. I can say I can say confidently the only uh let me think about this. The only two shows that I can think of that didn't waste the the that that didn't waste the the last showdown in their last episodes was Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Felt like the showdown wasn't rushed. In fact, the whole episode was them literally just fighting the terrorist people. And I want to say I was going to say season one of Loki because basically the end of that episode is Loki stopping Sylvie from killing He Who Remains. But even then, the rest of the episode, other shit was going on Mm -hmm. and shit. So maybe I'm not going to count that. I think I honestly think Falcon and Winter Soldier was was the only show where the where the last showdown, in the last episode did not feel rushed. Because the yeah. Moon Knight showdown felt rushed, the Miss Marvel showdown felt rushed, the WandaVision showdown felt rushed, Hawkeye, all that shit, bro. Like. Yeah. The last showdown between the hero and the villain, the last episode, because it's the shortest episode, it's only like a showdown, little fight scene, last three minutes, and then like the hero just eventually beats yeah. him. And you're just left unsatisfied. Yeah, you're yeah. left like, really, this is what it led up to? Like, what the fuck? I've been binging this episode every every Tuesday for six weeks to watch this. Yeah. That's what I hate about how all these fucking shows are like keeping their last episodes as the shortest, bro. It's like, what the fuck? That's my first complaint. That, yeah, my complaint I about the Echo show. My second complaint, I'm not going to lie, is a bogus one. And I mentioned this earlier in the pod. Oh, yes, yes. I want to hear this one. (laughs) Earlier in the pod, I said that I have a gripe with the last episode, something that happens in the last episode. And I said that I know a lot of people are going to say that I'm tripping. A lot of people are going to say, what the fuck, Hob? That makes no sense. Listen, I understand that I might be flawed here, guys. But nonetheless, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And it's still my gripe. Okay. okay. What is it? So this is my gripe. It's gonna sound a little weird. Just, just hear me out for a second. When I was watching the Hawkeye show, mm-hmm. and I saw Echo, I saw a girl who's mute and deaf and prosthetic leg, who can throw down. This bitch can fight. This bitch can hold her own in a fight against multiple people. Like she's yeah. done like four v ones or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. I watch trailers to this show, and I see obviously in the trailer, right? They try to they try to hook you with scenes of action, and she's mm-hmm. clearly throwing down. 
Then I start to watch the Echo show, and she's once again throwing down that one-shot fight, right, with Daredevil. Mm -hmm. The fight that she has in the roller rink, in the Mm -hmm. arcade, that was also a really solid fight. The way that she was, like, you know, slicing people and cutting them and blood everywhere, that's cool, right? And I was like, oh, wow, cool. Like, she's really good at hand-to-hand combat. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of fucking with that because I get it. This show, being rated TVMA, has felt like the most grounded and most realistic MC, DC, Disney Plus show that we've gotten. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then we get to the last episode, and she has that show that showdown with Fisk. And then she does this bullshit where she summons her ancestors and gets echoes their powers to her that, like, her hands, her palms or whatever start to glow. And then she uses those powers to, like, go against Fisk. And eventually she, they don't even fight. She just, like, does some bullshit where she gets into his mind or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that I didn't like, that she got powers. And I get it. I know that's flawed of me. Javi, that doesn't make any sense. You don't like that she has powers? Don't you know that in the comics, she has powers? Yeah. And I had to fact check this. I had to look it up. Does this bitch have powers in the comics? Sure Mm -hmm. enough. Sure enough, she does have superpowers Mm -hmm. in the comics. But the thing is, I'm not really familiar with her in the comics. But my whole thing is, bro, like when I was introduced to her in Hawkeye and then watching all these episodes of her throwing down hand-to-hand style, I was more intrigued with this character when she had no powers. Because I was like, this is just another Daredevil. Someone with no powers but can hold their own in a fist fight. Mm -hmm. And that's their ability. Spider-Man is a street-level hero, but he crawls on walls, has spider sense, and shoots webs. Okay. Daredevil, like Luke Cage is bulletproof. You know what I mean? Like Jessica Jones just has super strength. Yeah. They all have powers, but Echo and Daredevil are the ones that don't. Okay, yeah, sure. Heightened senses, right? His smell, his hearing, everything, right? But other than that, like he can't jump from building to building like nothing, like fucking Hulk or Spider Man. He's very much mortal. Even he can get shot and stabbed and die. Same with Echo. She's very mortal. She just knows how to throw down, and that's her power. She that she still knows. But now you give her powers, and mm-hmm. now it just feels like I am once again. I, I was. It was like a slap to the face of like, hey, by the way, motherfucker. <laughs> he literally slapped. Yeah, his I was gonna say he face. slapped his face. <laughs> I wanted the, I wanted, yeah, the, yeah, I I wanted the mic to catch it. I wanted the mic to catch it. It's so funny. Oh. I wanted the mic to catch it. It was a slap yeah, to the face so that was like it was like a reminder of, yeah. hey man, I don't know if I don't know if you've been I don't know if you've been paying attention or not, but this is an MCU show. Yeah. So our heroes got to have the powers. And I feel like giving her powers felt mm-hmm. too easy. Mm. To me, giving Echo powers. Just because she got lucky? Because technically she just got lucky, man. She's part of a bloodline that's her ancestors. Yeah, are, like, like for me it's powerful. like I was more intrigued in this bitch when she was a hand-to-hand fighter and she yeah. could just hold on on her fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we've seen her do it multiple times in this show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? She has no powers, but now you give her powers and it's like, well, now I can't really relate to you. Yeah. I can't really relate to any hero because I don't know. I don't have fucking super strength. I don't have spider sense. I don't have a billion dollar iron suit that yeah. flies and shit. So when you give me someone that's mortal, it's like, oh, wow, like that's realistic and that's cool, right? And I don't know, man. It just like something about it felt too safe. It just felt too like, oh, well, now she gets these powers type shit. And like now I don't really okay really you're gonna give her these powers she summons the power of her ancestors and all this bullshit well now she doesn't really feel like a street level hero mm. she doesn't really feel like someone who belongs in street level and we don't really necessarily know what the fuck her powers are really are They're but if you look here. it up on wikipedia or something like you look up her abilities like yeah. they l- sound like shit that doesn't really even make you street level hero what the fuck like you're not street level bitch yeah. you have powers spider man has powers this motherfucker cannot shoot rays out of his hands, bitch. He shoots webs, and webs don't and kill has, people. And he has super strength. And he has super strength and super jump, and he can stick to a wall. That's not OP. Spider-Man's not OP. Low sure. key, that kind of is, though. What, super strength? Yeah. The super or, strength shit. Super strength, I think, is OP. Right, but compare that to flight. Oh, no. I yeah. think she has flight in the comics. Oh, shit, for real? I don't know. I could I be, I'm going to look it up. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fact I'm not check. familiar with that, though. I'm a fact check. Um, I could have sworn one of her abilities. Well, while you do that, let's ask Mario. Mario, what do you what did you think about that? Do you agree with Hav? Do you th- think that adding the powers just kind of ruined the element? Ruined? The, uh, for me, I I would say no. Or are you kind of indifferent? Uh, I would say no. It didn't really ruin it for me because I assumed, and with everything Marvel, I just assume in the comics they have this, 
in my opinion. So that's why it didn't really bother me. But I do understand mm. how Javi feels because I feel like that in another show I've seen before. But not to get on a tangent on that, but I do not like the final fight scene either because if it, it is the final rushed, fight scene was. You, you it just feel, it it feels it wasn't it, even a fight. It wasn't even a fight. It, it's just the final sequence. Just Honestly, that. bro, I don't even think Echo threw down. Did she? In the last uh, episode? Yeah. I don't no. think so. She didn't even throw down. I think it was just the grandma. It was just the grandma Bonnie and Bonnie and then, and then she, yeah, man. her, Echo, Maya grabbing Fisk. Yeah. Okay, so look, I haven't pulled up her powers. Abilities, yeah. ready? <laughs> Doesn't she have like a paint on her face? Yeah, she has a face, a uh, handprint on her face. Yeah, that's cool. She looks badass there. I don't oh, know. Sure. I should have done that. That's not on the show. I don't oh, know yeah. why. She's cool. Because already, look, here are her abilities. Expert martial artist okay, check. and hand-to-hand combat. Check. Highly skilled acrobatic and athlete. Yeah. And photographic reflexes. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now stop there. Fire. Street level. No powers. It's like Daredevil, yeah. And it's like Daredevil, right? Okay, so you mean to tell me or if Electra. she can get so you mean to tell me if she can get shot, it's raps. Yeah. Like if she bleeds out, like it's a fucking raps, right? It's like it like not giving her powers, bro. There's a sense of mortality. There's a sense of risk. Like, oh, wow, she's more likely to die. So her fighting skill needs to be on point, girl. Because, mm-hmm. like, you can't just, like, play it safe. Like, oh, fuck, there's f- too many of them. <sighs> I feel lazy. I don't feel like fighting them. I'm going to fly away. <laughs> no, you're you're in the shit, bitch. Time to step it up. Like, Daredevil would never run away from a fight. Yeah. So it's time to pick it up. But get this. when she, As the Phoenix Force, mm. her abilities are telepathy automatically OP. Telepathy. What the fuck? Ready for this? Second one listed, flight. Ooh. Oh, so she can fly now. Great. I'm assuming in the show she's not. I don't I, think so. I don't, I don't know. So. But she might have the telepathy. Telepathy, flight, superhuman strength, speed, and durability. Damn. And, oh my God, look what the fuck, bro? Cosmic fire generation. Cosmic Damn. fire so now she doesn't feel like street level. She feels too OP. Well, that's the thing. Well, wow, we didn't see all those things yet. But we the don't thing know is, if they, if they might do like, we don't know if they might uh, give her all those things. So. I know. hope not. But yeah. the thing is, if they want to keep, let's be honest, bro. The MCU tends to like to make their shit comic book accurate. They like to keep their shit comic book accurate. I mean, look at like what they're doing with the X Men, giving them the old school '90s look and everything, with the the suits and the costume designs and all that shit. Yeah. Even Deadpool, bro. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but the Deadpool suit looks a little different. The biggest difference in this new Deadpool three suit is that it's the red is brighter. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look like the red muted. is brighter and the and the eyes are like smaller. Yeah, like and that's because like that's actually how he was when he first his first appearance. That's how he looked. Right. Like his eyes were like smaller, but uh, but to be honest with you, I don't like that. I like the OG Deadpool look. Really? I like the... Um, I prefer that the red is redder. Like, it looks brighter. I prefer that. Looks nicer. Nah, I prefer the other one. I prefer the old, the Ryan Reynolds one. And with the eyes. Same thing with the eyes. I like mm. the eyes being a lot bigger. Like oh. With the white. Well, I don't know. But my whole thing is, like, if they're gonna, if the MCU gives her these powers, bro, yeah. I feel like now I can no longer connect to her. Because you mean to tell me, oh, Echo's going to be part of the street-level heroes. Wait, you mean to tell me that she's going to be in the same team as Spider-Man, as Daredevil, as yeah. Luke Cage, mm. as them? But she has flight. Oh, shit, there's too many of them. I'll see y'all at Fis- uh, Avengers Tower. <laughs> Flies off. Like, yeah. that's not, that's too <laughs> OP. Like, for me, it's just like, if you give her powers, now her hand-to-hand, like, the way that I see it is like, okay, if she has powers, super strength durability and fucking reflect okay all that bullshit right yeah. if you give her powers her hand to hand combat used to be a skill it used to be like a I have to fight better my defense yeah. and offense has to be on point for me to survive because this dude has is armed with a knife mm-hmm. so I have to block his attacks perfectly and I gotta find uh, like a like a like an opening for me to sock him and knock him out or kill him or whatever mm-hmm. but if she has super strength you become one punch man. You're essentially no one no threat man. is a threat to you. Yeah. One punch to the jaw and that person could be paralyzed. See how OP it is? Like it's too safe to give her powers because now she's like Superman. Superman, like ever heard the, you ever hear the saying Superman is not brave? Why? Because he's invincible. He's a fucking god. He's bulletproof and all that shit. Like nothing could kill him. So any threat he goes up against, it's like light work. Is this is Coco Melon? <laughs> this, is, this is Coco Melon. Light work, yeah. no reaction. Like, it's like Relax. here, I give you a ten second head start to run off with that woman's purse. Ten <laughs> seconds, <laughs> super speed. 
Like, it's all cakewalk to him. So, to me, when I see this girl throwing down hand-to-hand, oh, shit, that's cool. Now she has powers all of the fucking sudden. Well, now I know that she's going to start using those, relying on those powers more. And I'm not saying she doesn't have to. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm saying if you're going to give her powers, okay, have her use those powers against fucking threats like Dr. Doom. Yeah. But if you mean to tell me that she's trying to pull a Spider-Man, trying to be a friendly neighborhood echo, and she's right. stopping little petty crime, bitch, her fucking telepathy is enough to be like, no, like the Force in Star Wars, you do not want to rob this old lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right, I don't. And gives the I mean, spe- so far that's what they showed in, in the MCU, because that's what she did to Fizz. That's what I'm saying, though, but that's... But so far, what if it's just that? And Or how about this? How about, ready? How about this? I think I know what you're going to say. How about it's... She only gets those powers in time of times of need. Oh, that's never what, mind. Because that's what they do. That's what they do to uh, say. Remember, mm-hmm. like the ancestors decides to help their fellow like bloodline or ancestors in a time of need. In a time of need. What if that was one of those moments? And that's that could how she work. Those powers. That could actually work. The writers can easily be like, well, anytime she's in a scuffle, that's a time of need, and that would be an easy way to write her out of a situation. Yeah. I hope not. But let's be honest, bro. Look at like look at the writers, bro. Look at the writers. What they've been doing with the MCU lately. There's a lot of safe shit. It's a lot of conveniences. You're like, really, bro? Like, ants just happen to take down Kang? Yeah. There's a lot of conveniences. And I have another conspiracy theory. I want to get into that for a bit. But, like, let me finish this thought first. Like, that's what my whole... What were you going to say? What did you think I was going to say, though? I thought you were going to say, and I really hope they do this, be like, okay, what if, because Echo... Like, you compare Echo and Spider-Man, who's the most popular hero? Spider-Man. So... Echo. This bitch. So Spider-Man, right? (laughs) If they were to change something about Spider-Man, be it his name, his skin color, his race, his powers, Mm -hmm. do you think people would uproar? Yeah. Why? Because they could change them. Because what? Because they changed them. But what's the... Okay, exactly. Because they changed Spider-Man. But what's the problem? Why is changing Spider-Man a bad thing? Because he's... The mo- like he's one of the most iconic yeah. people in the uh, Marvel comics. Yeah, is Echo anywhere near as that famous? No. Anywhere near that well known? No. Anywhere near that iconic? So my no. thing is like, if she's not, then maybe MCU has a more liberty of changing her lore and powers and stuff. Yeah. And fans will be cool with it. It's mm-hmm. easier to make changes on people that are not that popular. That's why they changed Namor to be a Mexican dude. Yeah. And they called him Namor instead of Namor. Mm-hmm. See that? Because they're like, because comparatively, they're just, it's not the same level of hype as Spider-Man or Iron Man and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So maybe, I, I thought you were going to say, what if they tweak her powers? Mm-hmm. What if telepathy, flight, super strength, what if she doesn't have those powers? Mm-hmm. What if the MCU scraps her of those comic book abilities that she has in the comics to make her more street level, to make her more grounded and more mm-hmm. vulnerable and have her fit in the street level hero yeah, I think that's what, I think was, I think that's what's gonna happen. If, and if they do that, okay, I take back what I say in this pod. But knowing the MCU, bro, I fucking doubt it. I just nah, man, to... I don't think so. I don't think she's gonna be flying around. Yeah, I don't know, bro. man. She, I don't think she's gonna be flying around. She might. I hope not, bro. The telepathy. I hope not. I mean, she already did Showed that. that. Yeah, because yeah, like, I guess let's let's just break down the fight scene. I guess right. The, uh, fucking Maya pulls up. Where was it again? The uh, that roller rink again? No, it was in the, was it? the 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 carnival thing. I forgot what it was called. Oh, the, the powwow. The situation? powwow. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that. Pulls up the powwow. Fisk pulls up. Has Bonnie and the grandmother hostage, mm-hmm. threatening to kill him. And that's where like she finds like her inner self or some shit. All of her past ancestors that we saw in the show previous up. episodes they pull up. show up and kind of give her like a spirit bomb or some shit. A Gives her bomb. power. Yeah, that's whatever. Funny. Spirit bomb. Yeah, type shit. And then ends up transferring her powers to the grandmother. That I don't know Bonnie. how it works, bro. And then now Bonnie and the grandmother have these glowing hands or whatever, like Iron okay. Fist. Yeah. And starts kicking ass. Uh-huh. And then that's it. Okay. Now, let me stop you there. Mario, what did you just say? I I'm said, like, I don't know how that works. Okay. How she transferred her. Exactly. Yeah, I, don't know how that works I don't know how that works. But I'm here- assuming, I'm assuming like a, bl- oh no. I was about to say bloodline, but Bonnie's not a bloodline. That's what oh, I'm no, saying. Oh, are they cousins? I don't know. Oh, I, don't know. I forgot. Oh, yes, bo- they are. They're cousins. They're cousins. Yeah, they're cousins. Because yeah, 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 yeah. at the beginning of the episode, they're like, we're sisters. And she's like, no, we're cousins. Like, no, you're my sister. Mm. So they're, cu- they're cousins. Bro. Okay. Maybe they're passing them to the bloodline. Yeah. Passing the bloodline. Either way. 
either way, man. How passing your powers to your grandma and to your cousin <laughs> felt again. Grandma, it's grandma again. I got. I got a no, flashback bro, to Blue Beetle. Bro. bro, again, it's this. It's the same fucking MCU trope, bro. It's just MCU being too safe. Yeah. Like, well, let me just give my power. Was, let that, me just pass my powers to my grandma so she could throw down. That's so convenient. And that was it. Like she didn't. Like <clears throat> she didn't Echo even throw didn't down. Fight. <laughs> no. It was just uh, the grandmother and Bonnie took down took down the guys. Hector, Hector, bro, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Conveniences, bro. <laughs> the MCU recently, bro, since like Phase Four, has been riding themselves yeah. out of convenient like situations, like like this all the time bro yeah. like maybe you haven't noticed but i dare you to go back and watch these shows again and watch how many convenient ways they get out of tough scuffles bro i mean yeah it's not the first time that the mcu's been doing this and they've been doing this literally since like phase four like i don't remember any movies from phase one through three and, doing bullshit like this and i like, guess another convenience would be that after the throwdown right the, the grandma and, and bonnie mm. she ends up putting her hands on fisk's head and like putting him on his knees and he takes her. It, he takes him back to like his childhood. Right, right, right. Like right. childhood trauma or whatever. And she's trying to like reason with him. Is like, hey, like this isn't the way or like whatever. Yeah, but he doesn't want to. But he doesn't want to. And then he starts freaking out. Like, how'd you? What'd you do? What'd you do? And then she's like, all quiet or whatever. And then the next shot, it's just him getting inside of his car and like leaving. What the <laughs> fuck was that? Okay, yeah. first of all, they didn't even show up. When I saw that, I was, how no joke, I was like, what's going on? He just left. He just left. What'd you I think do? because he heard the, 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 the cops coming, but either way. Bro, I'm it's just, Kingpin, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? I'm like, bro, didn't you have the cops in New York under your <laughs> yeah, belt? You know, like, yeah. motherfucker, you, you can't No, but either way, it's off? like, what was the point of that? I, I and know. why did Kingpin it, just it, leave it's rushed. without doing It was anything? rushed, but it's why rushed. was it rushed? Shortest episode of the yeah. uh, season. Like that's the problem so again. Weird, once again, man. with it being the shortest fucking episode, bro, they gotta be like oh, cutting shit short and whatever the fuck. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't dude, know, it just dude. makes me so like pissed, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on with the MCU? Dude? I don't know what's. Yeah, man, I don't know what happened with Fisk fucking in that situation. MCU, bro, is down. Star Wars is down, bro. Like, my only hope right now is James oh, Gunn's DC. No, you know what? I've, or I think, I think, like what some of our TikTok comments would say, man, we're just haters, bro. We're just MCU haters, man. We just hate everything. I remember uh, when we, uh, one of our mm. Marvel clip, the Marvels clip, mm. I think it was on Instagram or something. Somebody commented saying, oh, like, like, wow, like, you just don't know, you guys, you guys just don't know how to have fun. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh, okay. And I was like, what? We don't know how to have fun. What are you talking about, man? It's just, the movie wasn't great. Mm. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Like. I don't know, man. I don't think we're haters, bro. Because there's people on TikTok and like that do social media that really are haters, and you could tell yeah. they're fake hating just for views. Mm. Uh -huh, yeah. Listen, guys, I want to show you. Don't call out. Don't. Hey, don't listen. Call. No. Don't name drop. Don't name drop. I'll do it if I want, bro. But I don't. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly don't know these fuckers' names, bro. Okay. They're a bunch of nobodies. Perfect. But like, Ooh. but they're like people who are like, listen, guys. I mean, technically, we're nobodies. Like, technically, man. Fucking Echo is a fucking piece of shit show. Like, it's god awful. It's terrible. I was bored half the time. Like, and they just kind of like, they give like six like different insults in a row that, like, in a show that, like, really wasn't that bad. Yeah. Guys, don't even bother watching fucking Moon Knight. It was so boring and I was fucking falling asleep. Like, what a trash. I'm like, really, bro? Calm down. Hold it back. Like, you don't actually mean all that. You're just trying to get views. That's fucking pathetic. Yeah. Those are haters, bro. We're literally critiquing. We're not hating. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd be like that. Man, this show was trash, man. I was falling asleep half the time. You like, keep making that voice. It seems like you know somebody. Yeah, I was gonna say you're targeting someone. You're right targeting now. somebody. And I think I know who. Do you? You do? A guy talk? named C and Six. Oh my god! This I've That's seen his content so. before. Fuck this shit. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Man. <laughs> I'm getting sick of this, y'all. Dude, imagine me. That's like, how they all sound uh, like. That. Imagine I know me what being you mean. in like in that they all, field. They all talk oh, like god. that, bro. I'd be a it's demon. like that one motherfucker <laughs> that does TikToks where he's like, "Did you know?" I fight, I fight everybody, bro. You know how people talk. He shit suck them all. <laughs> That's no. You can't steal my joke. You, can have, you already said I've suck them all. That's my joke to you, bitch. You can't steal my joke, bitch. Uh, Anyways, the reason why I make that voice all the time, you're like, you sound like a specific person. Because yeah, that's a, no, it's not a specific person, Hector. They all talk like that. What the fuck? No, I feel you. Do you notice? Do you notice that like every TikToker that does news all talk the same? So yeah. we just got our first look at yeah. da, 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 da. like literally yeah, their 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 yeah. their voices like the 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 oh, I forget the word. What's it like? It sounds. They're like ca their cadence is the same shit. Yep. Like it's the same fucking way they talk, and yeah. it's like three different people all covering news. Yep. 
You know, and that's like that's just how they talk. So like, don't even bother watching Aqu- like Aquaman. It was so boring. And like, they all sound the same. Like five different people shitting on Marvel. They all talk with that fucking overly cadenced, fucking loud ass voice and shit. And hey man, they're just forget. ranting for that's, thirty minutes. Let's forget the views, man. I know, and that's fucking stupid. Yep. Like, if you're doing that, you're pathetic. Like, Damn. it's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> you have nothing else better to do but to fake your way into... Damn, to, Javi to starting briefs right now. Dude, like, let's be real. Doesn't that piss you off? I don't really get a lot of videos like that, though, personally. That's fine. I'll send you some, and you'll see what, what the fuck I'm talking what, about. Mario? Ignore him. He's always laughing. Look at me when I talk to you. <laughs> Look at me when I talk to you, bro. Look at me when I talk to you. Hector, be real. Oh, he's ignore that- him. Don't, he's <laughs> la- he always laughs. Don't ignore him. Yeah. Why are you laughing, you dirty slut? Javi's <laughs> going off right now, man. Doesn't it piss you off? <laughs> like, you fucking hooligan. You know what Look, fucking grinds my gears? You know what really... The fucking you know MCU. really tickles my funny bone? <laughs> <laughs> it's these motherfuckers. You know what, Bro, you know what lights... Let me a, no, you, you know what really lights a fire in my asshole at night? These fucking MCU haters, man. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck them all. Let me no. your mind. How about you suck them all? He's <laughs> just gay, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what, man? Let's fucking suck. No, I'm going oh, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm be honest. I don't really see a bunch of people like that. That's fine. I'll um, send you the clips, like, bro. Am I, like, am I for you? Whatever? You're good, girl. I'll send you the clips. All right. But, one. like, my Show thing me. is, Hector, let's be real. Doesn't that piss you off? <laughs> Here I, we are making, trying to make something out of ourselves with a podcast, being real and genuine. These people oh, are shit. faking oh, their damn. way. Giving oh, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, this dude going deep. No, I man, know, no, bro. listen, listen hear me I, out. Listen, listen, listen. Hear right, me we'll out. Hear, we'll hear here we out. are trying to make some of ourselves being genuine with our reviews and stuff like that, critiquing it out of love because we grew up on the MCU. We fuck with this shit. These people just have to like do the stupid green screen bullshit and put their face in the bottom corner in a picture of the poster of whatever it is they're talking about, and they just have to fake their bullshit like in a loud ass voice and mm. rip the fucking like right now the biggest trend is ripping into any MCU anything for like less than a minute. Non-stop. Mm-hmm. You're just coming up with all these different insult adjectives to describe the show or movie that you just saw and that gets you views. And that's fake. Like, no one hates Marvel yeah. that fucking much. You like, ask anyone about Marvel, they love it, or they're just kind of like, eh, I don't really dude, watch it's, it. it's gotten to the point where, like, we would have some serious, like, takes, right? Serious stances. Mm-hmm. And we'd make a clip about it, and people think we're, like, faking it. And we're yeah, not. It's those. like, oh, my God, like, why well, you guys are faking this clip? Or, like, oh, like, oh my, like, what the fuck? I've seen those comments. I hate, yeah. I hate this staged pod. Like, oh, my God, like... One of them was on the Cape Shit pod. Remember, uh, we talked about... No, you talked about Thanos' face model changing. Mm-hmm. And that was, like, genuine, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember we made a clip out of it because I'm like, oh, shit, that's be pretty cool. It's a fun fact. Whatever, let's make a clip. And some people in the comments were, like, hating on us, bro, saying, oh, my God, they, they still let, like, they still let people do podcasts. Or, like, there's another dude that They said, let anyone do podcasts. Yeah, no type shit. Or, and then there's another one that said, like, Oh, this shit was so staged. Or like, I hate these staged. I hate these staged um, pods. pods. Yeah, I'm like, what the f- stage, man? We t-? and I, and I had, I had like a whole argument, bro. I'll be beefing with them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for real. And but, he th- and Mario says I'm going. I'm picking beef. You're the one fighting for your lives in the comments, bro. Hey, man, fuck them. Bro, man. No, I agree. Nah, fuck I, them. They're I hating. I feel Hector on the comment like, like, and bro, and that. if they were, we're not and, faking it. And no, no we're not. But I you know what? You, to them, they are because it's on one that. minute clips. I know. That's what, yeah. But if they took the time to listen to our pods and listen to the full hour they're not, and they see where, like, they're I know not. They're, they're not, Mario. But if they did, they'd be like, oh, shit, they're actually being genuine. Yeah. But because they want to stay being haters. All right, hey, fuck man. y'all. While we're going up in subs, like you're going down in life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this having crazy. Oh, I'm just going off right now, bro. Like, Echo said, awoken was, something in him, man. Yo, how we just had enough. Yeah, I Echo. Just, Echo was the last fucking straw, straw bro. For real, was the last. How we just is at his breaking point, dude. He's like, <laughs> fuck this shit. Did you hear what I said? No, I heard you. Oh, okay. Cause you, I don't know if you're the last part of that. Uh, yeah, you're just going down in life. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that's crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, we get haters, and to be honest with you, like, happens, I, even though I do beef in the comments, I don't let it like I don't let it get. To I don't me. let it get to me. We're like, oh my god, I can't sleep at night. Oh fuck no, I like, feel like, like I'm, I'm like I'm just I'm annoyed. just so, not not even annoyed. I I just like to talk shit back. Cause I just laugh cause at fun. it because it's, <laughs> it's funny. Because it yeah. is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie, and I just know <laughs> that like. I just know they they're not gonna see the full thing, so it's whatever. I'm like, whatever, man. I'm just looking forward to making the new the new Cape Shit pod and shit. Like, I don't care. Right. 
I don't. I really don't care, man. It's it's like a passion of mine, and, and you know, even though, because I know for a fact, we get more likes than like hate comments. Mm, yeah. So there's definitely a lot of people that agree what we say, sure. and even and even if you don't, man, hey, it is, it is what it is. You don't agree, and right. I'm pretty sure there's people that fuck with us and listen to us that don't. Ag- they don't agree with us, mm-hmm. but they still fuck with us, and those are normal people, man. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, we just went on a crazy rant, man. How you yeah, man. Went off? And you know how I was telling, and like I'm telling you, man, I just feel like all these MCU shows and movies, they just keep conveniently writing themselves out of scuffles and shit like that. And it's yeah. like, and the biggest thing is like, how is it possible that we get a new TV show, a new movie, a new something from the MCU? And it deals with different heroes, with different backstories, abilities, tones, and yet they all feel the same. Do you notice that? Yeah. These movies, and you know why it is, right? Do you notice ever since Phase 4, the same few people have been chosen to write the scripts for all these movies? Mm. Do you notice that? The like same people? Yeah, like, did you notice that the guy, did you guys notice that the guy who wrote WandaVision, he's a writer, he was was the writer for WandaVision. Mm -hmm. Who was in WandaVision? Wanda. Mm-hmm. Right, Scarlet Witch was in WandaVision. So who do they get to write Multiverse of Madness? Who also had happened to have Wanda? It's the same guy. Mm. See that? You know how they just kind of like bounce the same writers to write everything. Mm-hmm. Who did they get to? Who did they have to uh, to write the uh, the script for? I believe the script was like who who are they getting to to write the script for King Kang Dynasty? Mm-hmm. Well, the same person that did Aquaman because they both included Kang. Yeah. And if you notice, if you like start Aquaman. to memorize the if you start to memorize You said Aquaman. Ant Man, my fault. I always do I was gonna say Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah, I was Aquaman. like, what? Aquaman. When you it, when you start to realize, bro, <clears throat> you start to memorize these names and you start to notice a pattern. You're like, I've s- mm-hmm. seen that name multiple times and they're now writing this. Didn't they just make this? Mm-hmm. Or now this person got hired to write Secret Wars, but didn't they also write this one? Yeah. I didn't really like that movie. The writing was kind of mid. Now they're taking on Sigurd, like, yeah, dude. And it's one of those things where, like, they know. I think for Kevin Feige and the MCU Marvel Studios, to them, it's just easier to just kind of have their little posse of five writers and be like, "Okay, you work on this one while you work on that one. When you're done with that, you're gonna work on the Phase Six shit. When we're done with this, I'm gonna put you on a Phase Five TV show." Yeah. Because it's the same five people, and I guess I don't know. For them, they don't have the money to find new writers, talented writers to just write different shit. At least have good writers. Writers, man. You know what I mean? And it's one of those things like you don't have to recycle your writers, man. If you're if the guy who wrote um if the guy who oh. wrote WandaVision is your writer you know for what? WandaVision, he doesn't have to come back to do another it's Wanda because, dude, something. It's because Disney and MCU is trying to they're trying to change the MCU where it's catered for everybody. I know, we've Rated talked about e this. For everyone. Fuck that shit. The MCU was good when honestly they only intended for it. Mature audiences. Yeah, that's the only way it worked, bro. Like, if you look yeah. at Iron Man, the first Iron Man MCU. Yeah, that John was, Favreau wrote that's that. That's not that's not made for kids, buddy. That's, yeah. But us as kids, fuck with it. Yeah. I feel like if you just make stuff that's dedicated for mature audiences, everybody's gonna like it. Yeah. But no, they think, oh no, we have to write in a certain way, add these stupid jokes, and blah blah blah, to make sure everybody's included. Yeah. And have everybody like it? Like, no, man, that's not how you do it. No, fuck but no. It's just annoying. And I'm like I said, man, the whole thing with with even though with Kang, man, I already said this before. I just don't really care, man. And like even after Echo, like I wouldn't say Echo was bad. I don't think Echo Echo was trash. I just thought it was mediocre. It was yeah. just another mm. mediocre MCU show. Yeah, dude. And it's just what, it's just I, like the Marvels. It's just whatever, dude. I don't care. Yeah, and it's like I'm just getting tired of that. Like the last the last <laughs> yeah, like yeah. fire shit I saw from the MCU was Guardians. Was probably Guardians yeah. three. Before that, I'd probably I fucked with Moon Knight heavy. I also really liked Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Multiverse oh. of Madness was really good too. Hey yeah. man, what can I say, yeah. man? Sam Raimi. But uh, and before Falcon that, and Winter Soldier would probably be the Wakanda other one. Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. But like, that, see how we just named five projects, and there's been like already like twenty. Yeah. In phases four and five combined, there's already been like twenty. Dude, just the newest phase of the MCU is just a disappointment, dude. It's true. It's like the one of the <clears> biggest. Like, <throat> remember like, how I, can't, I literally cannot like. There's so many disapp- There's so many disappointments in this phase. That like, I just have to say. I just have to the say phase, that the phase, that the, the phase, phase or itself, the saga. Because the, the saga is the like phase, all right? of it overall. Well, uh, the phase from from uh, Ant Man. From Ant Man to now. Ant Man to now. Oh, okay. I like. I want to say <clears> that <throat> it's just 
I can't just say, oh, one thing is disappointing, whatever. No, man. Like, there's so many disappointments that the, it makes the entire phase a disappointment. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And it's just like, what the f- Like, I don't know, man. It's just, what are we doing here? I don't know, Honestly, man. bro, we're just watching this shit, y'all, and reviewing it for you guys, man, for the pod. That's honestly it, bro. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, to be if honest. If it wasn't for this pod, I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't even watch Echo. most of this stuff. Like, bro, I'd, I'd, yeah, bro. I'd, I would probably... As 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 much as I like, hate I'd to be say in it, no rush to watch this. That shit. too, I would probably say as much as I hate to say it, man. Just kind of like where the MCU is going and shit, bro. I probably would be more selective with my MCU shit. Yeah, man. I, I mean, probably would never. Sucks, I probably would never have picked up Echo. It sucks because I miss that feeling where like every every, every MCU sh- project, was an event. Yeah, you know, and, and you look like, forward to it. And look, and people make the argument, oh, you just want to see a bunch of cool shit. Like you just expect too much. It's not even that, right? It's not mm. even that we expect too much. It's like. It's just the fact that everything is written the same. Yeah. Everything plays out the same. Yeah. There's no depth. There's nothing. It's just, it's it's literally like a uh, like a thirty me- thirty meter meter a thirty meter fucking uh, uh, pool that's like two inches deep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't explain that. Like it's just, I don't know, man. It's just a bunch of shit, a bunch of content. But it's all it all feels the same, bro. Yeah, it's, it's like not special. It's like <laughs> nothing is special. It's like whatever, man. I'll give a fuck, man. Yeah, dude. I know. I'll give a fuck. Know. Man. Honestly, like I said, bro, if not for the pod, I'd be a lot more selective. Yeah, dude. For I probably sure, dude. like <laughs> like I probably would never have watched Echo. I probably would be on the lookout. Yeah. For the Fantastic Four movie. Oh yeah. The X Men ninety seven show. Uh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I would never touch Agatha Hart. A- Agatha <laughs> Di- Darkhold Diary. Hey, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to that. I would probably never watch uh, Ironheart. I'm not looking forward to that. No, yeah. we're not. Hey, I'm sorry, Hector, but we got to <laughs> we gotta leave that to the polls, bro. You think so? And just hope that Agatha? people say no. Yeah, bro, it's not going to be good, bro. Yeah. Dude, you look at the cast and you look at the people they're like the people they have yeah, in the show. Yeah, I'll make the polls, whatever, we're not sure And it's of. like, what the fuck? But, like, dude, like, I'd be more selective. I'd probably watch the Fantastic Four show. I'd probably watch Deadpool 3. I'd probably watch um, the X-Men 97 TV show. I'd probably watch, for sure, the Avengers movies. Yeah. Avengers 5, untitled now, because we don't know what the fuck going on with there. And then Secret Wars, obviously. I would probably watch... I probably wouldn't watch Ironheart, to be quite frank with you, because I don't want to waste my time watching week to week on some bullshit that might not... That might end up being mid again. yeah. I wouldn't want to watch. Uh, I'll watch Captain America. I'll watch the uh, Thunderbolts. Who knows? Like, could go either way. I'll wait for the reviews. I don't know, man. But like, just... I would be more selective. I would not like go out of my way and like yeah, binge sure. every week a new episode. It's just if not for this. Pod, no, yeah, I agree, bro. dude. The, it's the... just I would be more selective. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm not gonna put myself through hell just because like the fuck. Like, I just want to go see the bear, bro. I just want to rewatch it, like. I want to see shit like that. I just want to watch a beef again. Like I just want to see shit like that. I'm getting sick of this whole mid superhero shit. Hey bro. man, Mario saying Monarch is actually quite fire. Yeah, he said. So that's one thing that's I'm looking forward to. That we're looking forward to this yeah, week I that we might it. review the next. The ending was. Week. I love. I love the ending, yes, bro. We might, yeah, so it's ended, ended, right, Mario? Oh, it's the over. Yeah, 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 it's over, bro. It's over. It's over. I, okay. The ending is like the last thing you see is just like hype. It gets you hyped for the movie. It's like, oh! I told you. I yeah. told you this shit was going to tie into the movie, bro. The movie comes out in April. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, man. If not for the more pod, bro, that. I would be a lot more selective with the shit that I watch. I would never have watched but, Echo. I would never have watched Ironheart, Agatha, Darkhold Diary. I would not watch any of this shit. I would be selective. Yeah. Like, yo, how did you watch so, Ironheart? Why the fuck would I watch Ironheart? Well, I mean, we pretty much covered everything, right? Let's get to, why don't we get to our ratings? I mean, sure, like. You sure you guys don't want any more? Uh, what? You want you guys what? any nothing? <clears throat> you guys nothing else? You guys want to rant about it? This is kind of fun. I, I mean, oh, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, like I've been wanting to say thing, this for a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we could tell. Uh, Trust I mean, me, we could tell. Have you unleashed? <laughs> Oh my god Javi unleashes I'm the just, full moon uh, Dude I'm just th- th- This is Javi's man. melting point And the thing is Javi I'm just so th- mad Literally bro. my Dude Fool me once bro Shame, Shame on you Yeah but fool me, me twice. twice I'm fucking stupid I can't put the blame on you like, Fool I'm me fucking, three times Like kill me like, Fuck I'm just, the peace sign what is he saying? Load the chopper, let it rain on you. Peace sign. What does he think he's? Damn, I'm ashamed of you. Hobby. He just said, "Load the chopper and let it rain on you." <laughs> Hobby, I'm ashamed of you right now. You know, I, the you know mu- the music though? guy, the it's music like, guy, don't know what the fuck I'm mentioning right now. No, Hobby, do you know what that means? Let, up the chopper, load and the let chopper, it, load the, the chopper, chopper, let it rain, rain on, on you. you. No, you see this? Is do you know where that's from? I don't know where that's from, but I know what it means. No, the J Cole song. Oh no, I don't know. Fool me three times. No, I don't know, but no, but I know, I know what it means. 
<laughs> I don't know the song, but I know what it means. Okay. Load the chopper. Load the heater. You know what a heater is? <laughs> no. It's the thing that okay. warms up your car. No. It's not. <laughs> uh, it basically, like, load load up a gun. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh-huh. And let it rain on you by, like, raining in bullets. Like, you're shooting bullets. So what's shit. the chopper? That's, that's the gun. Not, that's the gun. Like a chopper. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That's stupid. Because you chop them hey, down. Hey, J. Cole said that, bro. Because when you Cole. shoot them, right? When you shoot them, right? You chop them down. Listen, when you Ooh, shoot them. Ooh, everyone has beef with you. When you shoot them, you chop them down. Like, your, their body's being chopped up. <laughs> okay, I get it, but I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy slam. I didn't even know it was from a song, but I know what it meant. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I, why the fuck is he saying this yeah. shit? Yeah. because he said, fool me one time, imagine shame Echo, on you. bro pulls up, like, to the hood. He's like, yo, she doing sign language and motherfucker. Yo, what the fuck, bitch? Hell, yeah, that's funny. You need to let her rip on that. Oh, bitch. don't bro, worry, bro. bro. She's OP. Don't you remember? She could just fly away from the bullets. Hey, bro. Oh, my well, fuck, man. What was I going to say? Well, you were saying that how you were done. Like, this is this was basically your melting point with MCU, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty evident. Bro, bro I felt I that, honestly I thought felt the show that would way. be fired because it's TVMA. I know. Yeah, I, I was there with you, too. But I, I think I've learned my lesson now that I, I don't get my hopes up with, with any Until MCU. Until we watch it. Until Fuck we watch that. it. Like, I kind of lost my hope with that Marvel. Like, a My long, hype, bro, will come back ago. for the shit that I'm actually looking forward to. Like, the shit that I'm selective. Which, at this point, at this rate, I think is Deadpool 3. So yeah, see, day. I'm not even hyped for that shit, either. Well, that's really? different. No, that's different. He. Well, wait. Did you ever watch? You watch the other Deadpool movies? I've seen the other two, but it's D- Disney cast, it, so I'm, I'm not hyped. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, well, I'm not even going to try to lecture him. He's not going to give a fuck, bro. You know why I like it, right? It's Daredevil. Uh, Daredevil. Deadpool. Deadpool, yeah. The same writers Deadpool. as the other yeah. two movies. It's not any of the writers that Kevin Feige loves to fuck with. Yeah. It's directed by a reliable the first director. Two Deadpool movies are fire, man. Yeah, and they yeah. have the same returning writers from the first two movies, yeah. including Ryan Reynolds. The director, the director's reliable. <laughs> Fucking Hugh Jackman's back as Wolverine. Yeah. So like, there's a lot of there's a lot going for it. I feel like. You feel me? Yeah. So, like, that's why. Like, if it was, like, Matt Shackman, the writer of WandaVision, is doing Deadpool 3, um, it's a wrap. Fuck out of here. I'm not going to watch it. They ruined it. Deadpool 3 is ruined. Man, I'm looking forward for Inside Out 2, girl. What you mean? Yeah, what you mean, girl? Disney Star. Hey, man, we'll even see what I'm happens I'm just looking forward to Arcane and Avatar. Because I don't know, man. Because I've never seen it, but, like, I heard Luca and, and, and Elemental, all these other movies, have not been it? really been hit. Nah. Really? I like Luca, man. Luca was cool. Wait, Luca? Wait, you didn't like Luca? I, he, guys, he hasn't seen it. I've not seen, seen it. it. Oh. I've heard that oh. they're mid. Really? Elemental was cool, too. You, I like yeah, Elemental. Up there with Finding Nemo? Oh, hell no. no but it was, it was good. It was a good yeah. movie. It was good, but Luca's but good, But remember too. when Pixar yeah. weren't good? Remember when they were great? That's what I'm getting at. Oh, other, every movie hey, was they a did, fucking they, slap, they did Ratatouille, bro. right? Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. <laughs> but they, they, wait, they did that movie, right? Yeah, they did. I think that one has to be my favorite, bro. Dude, Rat- <laughs> <laughs> Ratatouille. <laughs> right, wait, isn't that in the movie Ratatouille 2? Two, two. Remember, no. right? No, there's a line in that where like he get no, the main, the guy gets drunk <laughs> off wine. I don't think so. I swear to God, bro. That's my favorite he, Pixar he movie, bro. He doesn't say Ratatouille. No, no, but he goes like Ratatouille, toot, 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 something like that. I, I don't remember, know, I remember. Side thing, it doesn't matter. But, I mean, what else can we talk about? I mean, I don't know, man. That's everything. I don't know, we lost all hope. I think that's everything, bro. I don't know, bro. That's fuck just... the haters, fuck the ops, fuck MCU. We up, you down. Fuck y'all motherfuckers, man. Load up the chopper, let it rain on you. <laughs> Hell, man. <laughs> so go ahead and say it. Say, say that shit. Uh, what? Say it. You guys make sure to load up your chopper. <laughs> <laughs> what the I knew, fuck? I knew he'd get mad. No, let me, oh let me see it. No, go ahead and say it. Huh? Say load, up the, load up the chopper, man. Load up the chopper. <laughs> let it rain on y'all motherfuckers, man. You know what the fuck going on. <laughs> why, go. why, why you want me? <laughs> <laughs> I never heard Javi. <laughs> hey, I never heard Javi speak like that. Yeah, I never heard it. So it'd be funny to hear it. <laughs> let, the, let the chopper rain on <laughs> that's, that's, why, that's why I said it. Load up the chopper <laughs> and let it rain on you, fellas. But make sure you bring it up. Yeah, I was about to say, make sure you bring your Because when it rains, it pours. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. You poured your blood. That's funny as fuck. That's why I said it that way the first time. Load up the chopper. Up the heater, guys, because it's cold out. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold out, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we live in a world. We, no, what killed? What killed the? What, killed the, what is it? Uh, what? No dinosaurs. <laughs> the ice, ice age. age. <laughs> 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 it's funny as shit. We live in a world where I see my breath all the time. It's been a while since the world been this nervous. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Fuck, dude. 
I mean, I don't know, man. Dude, I don't even think this is an Echo review, man. Like, this is just like a no, it started the, 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 It started. This is like an MCU rant. Kind of low key. Like yeah, at the I mean, end George, of this, at the end of it, definitely. Yeah. We did review it, right? No, we we never gave a rating. <laughs> fuck. We were about That's to end it without giving our rating. We were dead ass. I'm not even fucking with you. Yeah, but then I was like, you, you sure you guys don't have yeah. any more like shit I mean, you want to rant think about? So. I think that's it, I man. Think I, I think I, I Dude, mean, I'm not going to lie, bro. Yeah, go ahead. I, I hope, you know I, hope Let, I don't eat ahead. my words. I hope I don't eat my words, Let it bro. Out, but Mario saying that hype for Deadpool 3 is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, crazy. Mario doesn't give a fuck about all this, actually. He doesn't care about Superhero <laughs> shit, bro. I, I mean, dude, I still, I still have missed. I still, I still have never seen all the MCU movies, man. I'm, I believe it. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen the second that's Thor crazy, movie. Bro. I just hope it's good. I haven't seen the second Captain America movie. Hey, here's a good question. Here's a good question before we end the pod. If Deadpool 3 flopped, Mm -hmm. then for real, for real, is it a wraps for y'all? It's been a wraps for me. I feel like, nah, man. Deadpool 3 is like my last hope. I don't know. Was it Mario? Because you did love Guardians, bitch. I did love Guardians. I I made a clip out of that. I did you love did, Gar- bro. You said nah. it was a perfect end for the trilogy. It was a perfect end for the trilogy, but that was because James Gunn was there, and he's gone now. And I, I haven't enjoyed a movie since then from Marvel. Technically, or show. Technically, only one movie came out, but... Mm. But, I don't know, man. For me, I think it's like Deadpool it's, 3. It might be a wrap, dude. If, if, dude, if Deadpool, Deadpool 3, 3 is, is a fucking flop... Oh, my God. What if it's not a flop? What if, what if, what if, what if it's not a flop... But it's not an amazing God ten out of ten show. I mean movie. What if it's like a seven? Nah, a bro. seven. That, no, I that, need an eight. I need a. I need an eight at least. At least an eight or a nine, bro. Yeah. Mostly nine. If I can get a ten, fire. But like, for me, man, like I said, it's just the writers, bro. The writers are the same people who did the other two movies. I enjoyed the other two movies. Ryan Reynolds is a writer. The director has done good movies. He did Free Guy. That mm-hmm. movie's fire. He's done other movies that I've heard is fire. He did do the first night, the, all three Night of the Museum movies. Mm-hmm. I only oh, saw fuck. I only saw the first one. It was okay. I seen all three. Whatever. Um, but like, you know, everything about it is shaping up to for like a good, is in the ingredients for a good movie. Yeah. My thing is though, I have a feeling it's gonna get delayed, bro, because it's slated to come out in July. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Summertime. I think so. so. It's summertime for sure. But they're still the filming, summer bro. We're in January and they're still filming. Can they rush out the the post production? Most especially the CGI. Yeah. By that time, like you already know that like the CGI people are being fucking worked to death. Yep. And that's why the CGI comes out shoddy. Like, is that going to be a complaint? Is that the CGI wasn't polished Fuck, up by dude. the time it comes out in summer? I don't know, dude. You know what? That's a good question. I don't know. It might get delayed. Poor CGI man. people, man. Because they already got delayed. It was supposed to yeah. come out in May, and then they pushed it two months. It might get delayed again. A bunch of shit got pushed over. That's why it's the only MCU shit coming out this month, this year, I mean. So my thing is, like, if they're still fucking filming, like, how many more days of filming is there? How many days are they going to have to do post-production, finish the CGI? I mean, then again, there's been a lot of leaked set photos that they've been posting. I don't know if you've seen that. Mm. Like, the, a lot of the leaked paparazzi photos they keep taking of the set of Deadpool 3. How the fuck yeah. does that shit keep getting leaked, dude? Because it's paparazzi. You know why? You know why? Because shout out Ryan Reynolds, shout out Sean Levy, shout out all those motherfuckers. They're like, we're not going to film this shit in front of a green screen. Let's just shoot it on site. Let's shoot it in a real world. And so what happens? Paparazzi people take pictures from afar with their large ass lenses that can zoom in 200x. They take pictures of Wolverine in this suit and shit. And that's how we knew about the suit. Like the suit was supposed to be a big reveal until paparazzi motherfuckers were leaking it that sucks man but that's because they were like we don't feel like making a marvel movie for you guys in front of green screens we want to shoot it shoot it in real life like in front of practical effects and shit like that we don't want to cgi everything green screen everything all that shit and i'm like you know what respect but unfortunately the the payoff the 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 fucked up thing about it is that there's going to be paparazzi people taking pictures of the filming process and we're going to get, keep getting these leaks. One, like, I don't know if you guys heard, Stranger Things Season 5 started filming. Mm-hmm. And there's already set photos of those being leaked. I've not seen those. Yeah, paparazzi pictures. The shit. There's paparazzi pictures. There's people taking videos of... A, there's a a scene between Eleven and the guy that she's with, Finn Wolfhard. Mm-hmm. There's a conversation of them sitting on a bench and they're literally just filming a scene. And mm-hmm. it's a video. It's a paparazzi video of like someone zoomed all the way in looking at them. And there was clips oh, on wow. TikTok. There's clips of people taking that clip on TikTok and like people, professional lip readers. What are they saying? Oh, I need, I need to know. It's like, 
So like it's one of those things where like I think maybe that's why the MCU is so. What secretive. are you saying, Lona Chap alliterator? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think maybe? What that's are they saying, why? bro? Uh, fuck MCU haters, bro. They're just bitches. <laughs> no, what? Are, hey, no, actually, what are they saying? No, we post a video. We know exactly what they're saying. Subscribe to the HRV. Yeah. Pod. <laughs> Subscribe to the HRV. And we just pod. go on AI, AI bro. Just make it sound like Finn Wolfhard saying that shit. Yeah. Bro. But uh, my thing is, bro, is like, do you think that's why the MCU is all filmed in green screen? Because they want to be secretive and they don't want leaks Probably. going out and shit? That could be it, but too. The, but the fucked up thing about it is that in the off, like, the off chance of doing that, like, oh, we got to keep it secretive. We don't want paparazzi leak photos, like, what's been going. So we just film everything in a sound studio and we just green screen everything. Yeah. But then what happens in result of that? Well, then your movies don't look as realistic. The CGI is not as good. And the VFX don't look fine. Yeah, dude. And it's like that's just kind of the sacrifice that you made because you wanted to film everything in green screen because you want to keep shit secretive. Yeah. And it's like, uh, you should not have done that. I don't know, man. That's why, like, for me, like, there's a lot of shit. There's a lot of good shit. A mm -hmm. lot of good shit shaping up for Deadpool 3. That if it flops, so then I'm bro. actually, like, fucking... You wouldn't even want to review anymore? Like, oh, I would you like give up on like the superhero? Yeah, well, imagine if you just quit the podcast. I was like, like guys, like, I'm done. Why pod? is like, it hard? I'm like, no, done, it's actually man. really fucking easy. I just, I just hate Marvel. <laughs> nah, man. I no, swear. Like, no, like, no, 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 for real, no, for real. Like, would you not want? Like, okay, Deadpool three is a flop, and it's trash or whatever. It has. I'll definitely. Formula. We'll definitely review it for the view. No, I'm yeah, sure but people like, want to hear our thoughts. But no, like, yeah, but from there on out, are you done? You don't want to review any more MCU shit. If Deadpool 3 flopped, bro, that would truly, truly, truly be the death of the MCU for me. Jesus Christ. I think that will be my last draw. It's funny because y'all are like, oh my God, Echo, is it? Nah, bro. Deadpool 3, you think is the last is, will be my last fucking straw. I so fucking hope that movie's fire, bro. I really do. Deadpool 3 has so much potential. Because, like, everything sounds good. Everything sounds perfect on paper, but it's like, oh, man, like... They're yeah. still filming. I mean, you, you hear Mario, man. He don't give a fuck, man. Well, who cares, man? He likes Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. He cares about the Star Wars. That's it's because right. 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 superhero shit is not his niche, man. That's fine, man. Star Wars is mid, too. Da what do you say about that, Mario? Star Wars mid as fuck. Uh, Disney ruined it, man. Fine. Is it mid right now, Mario? Uh, I'm <clears> not going to say <throat> I'm not gonna say it's not where Marvel is, but it's close. It's close, bro. Jesus All Christ. the fucking future movies that we're going to get from Star Wars yeah. in the next few years. Only like, one. I'm not hyped for. No. One, one, of them, I'm, one of them, yes, I'm hyped. But the other ones, I'm like, I don't care. Uh, two of them, I'm hyped. Really? One two of them, of I'm them? not. The Ray one, I'm not hyped for. But well, the, the one about the Jedi origin, that one I'm hyped for. And Dave Filoni has me. Okay, <laughs> I, I shouldn't say hyped, but I'm definitely intrigued. I don't know, because they're making a movie about the first ever oh, Jedi. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. They're, they're, you see the, but, the Mando movie they that's announced? That's the one I'm excited for. Really? They're Tell me why. A, I, I don't making, give a fuck about that either. They're yeah. making a Mandalorian and Grogu show. Dude, I don't give a fuck. That's a, that's a fucking cash grab, and I know it. Bro, the reason Ooh. why I care is because I just don't want Bo Katan in that bitch. Make I, it just I a disagree. make I it a Bo. make it a man. Well, yeah, because you watch Clone Wars. I didn't. Yeah. But for me, bro, it's like if it's just like a, a space adventure between Mando and Grogu, cool. Like that's what I want. Season three of Mandalorian, Hector, was a disappointment because it was called The Mandalorian. Okay. Who's Mando? Pedro Pascal. Okay. But season three made Bo Katan, which is another another Mandalorian character, heard the the main at Mando, and it just I felt like I was robbed. I was like, this is not the show I signed up for. Mm. Seasons one and two are better. Fuck. So as long as Bo Katan's not anywhere near this fucking movie, and they just make it, they go back to basics like the first two seasons, and they make it a Mandalorian and Baby Yoda movie just centered on them two. I think it'd be fire. And I think John Favreau and or Dave Filoni, one of them, are coming back to write and direct. I think it's mm. both. So that's fire. That, and it's like, that's the only thing I'm excited for. Because all the other movies, the Ray Skywalker, that female director, and it's about time a female shaped Star Wars. Fuck off, I hear. Taika Waititi's making Star Wars. Look what he did to Thor. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. <clears throat> hey, man, we'll see once the, we catch, the guy once that, catch up. The guy, the guy is going to, there's a, there's, a, there's a movie of like the first ever Jedi. I get why Mario's excited, but it's directed by the guy that did the newest <clears throat> Indiana Jones movie. Mm. That one flopped. And I used to think James Mangold didn't miss. Bro, he made Logan. Oh, wow. He made Ford versus Ferrari. He's made fire movies. I thought I thought Indiana Jones was going to slap because it's him. He mm -hmm. hasn't missed. And, oh, it missed. So now it shows me that even he has can miss. Mm -hmm. And now he's taking on a Star Wars movie. Now I'm 50-50. Could be good. Could be bad. If he would if, if Logan had come out and they told me, oh, the guy that did, that did Logan, yeah, he, he's doing a Star Wars movie. Oh, it's going to be fire. 
But now that I saw that even he has now one miss under his filmography, under his belt, this Star Wars movie can go either way now. That's why I kind of lost hype because I was like, damn, bro, I thought you were fired. And you fumbled Indiana Jones. You pissed off a bunch of 80-year-old fans. <laughs> a bunch of old-ass <laughs> motherfuckers with like three, lives to the, three years left in their life expectancy, bro. You pissed them all off. That's crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know, bitch. man. For me, bro, Marvel and <laughs> Marvel and Star Wars, bro. Like I don't know, man. I yeah, just hope. Just see what the fuck I just hope to pull through. We just gotta see, man. But listen, we gotta get to our rating, man. What the fuck? Let's get to our rating. <clears throat> this was kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. I know, man. This you was been, the best part of the review. You've been, yeah, no. you've been like unleashing it, bro. Hey, man. I'm just tired, man. I'm just tired of the MCU playing it safe, bro. Like, stop it. All right. Well, you know what? Since you're like, go ahead, Hob. Like. What would you rate this show? Yeah. Like, what do I think? Yeah, what do you out rate of 10. It? You give me your rating. I think like, we'll that I in, found myself enjoying this show a lot because it was rated TVMA and it was blood and it was grounded. But if you once you strip away that element, it's just another yeah. same step by step by the book MCU show that we've gotten many times before. The last episode is the shortest episode, so we get a super rushed episode that rushes, that sprints to the finish line, and you mm-hmm. don't feel any payoff. Uh, none of the characters you care about. Maya is about the only character that you care about up until the point she gets fucking powers, and now she's OP. And Kingpin carried the show. Yeah. And it's like everything that I wanted the show to be more grounded, more realistic, better writing. Like, had this show had the grounded and realism of the Netflix Daredevil, had the dialogue of Secret Invasion, and had characters we cared about, this would have been like a fire ass show. Mm-hmm. But it lacked on all fronts. And the novelty of it being read to TV MA is not enough for me to forgive the shit that I didn't like. Yeah. So for me, I think I'm going to give this a five out of 10. Yeah. I agree with you. I can't really add much to that. I agree with what you say. And I was thinking the same thing a five. Just a mediocre show, man. Mm. It's not trash. I don't think it's bad. No, I don't say it's trash. I don't think but people. It's like it's what just people mediocre, on, dude. like MCU haters on TikTok are thinking, making it seem as no. But it's just, it's just mediocre, man. It's just what it. It's like you don't got to see this either, man. Not really. You and you know what's fucked this. is that this is the first installment of the Marvel Spotlight series. Yeah. Oh yeah, the we've got to talk shit? about that, right? The Spotlight is <clears throat> Marvel's new thing of. It's basically it's kind of like comic books, where like comics have. Um, the comic book industry, like Marvel, they have like these things called one shots, where it's mm-hmm. basically a one issue, like just one issue story, one and done. Mm-hmm. And essentially, that's what the spotlight is. So we know for a fact but they this also, is a one and done deal with Echo. I was gonna. Well, no, I heard Next that. Season. I heard Marvel Spotlight was advertised as a show mm-hmm. or a movie, any any form of media from the MCU that you don't have to watch previous. Movies really? and shit. That's what I heard. I could have sworn it was the one shot shit, like the one deal. Like no, one because Mar- deal, like. At Marvel one shot is already a thing in the MCU. Is it? They did that during phases one and two, but they stopped doing it. Oh. Yeah. If you go on, if you go on a Disney Plus, bro, there's a thing called Marvel one shot in the MCU. Oh, I th- you can go look. I could have sworn like this. Was, this was the spotlight. Was. No, I thought spot. What I from if I remember correctly, they advertised Marvel Spotlight. It's like, oh, it's a movie or a show. Where you don't have to watch any previous movie or oh. TV show to understand what's going on. It's its own isolated thing. Which to that I say, oh, I mean, oh, you're right. No, yeah, you're which, right. Which and you're I'm right. like, well, to My that bad, I guys. say, My there's bad. a lot of vague references to the Netflix Daredevil show. So I don't know. But if technically, that's... you don't really need to know. Sure, I guess it's like, well, who's this red guy with the horns? It's like, well, you didn't watch She-Hulk, bitch. Like, it's like one of those things yeah. where like I feel like maybe they should kind of shot themselves in the foot. I'm excited to see what else other Marvel Spotlight shit they're going on, but if it's the same writers, bro, then I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And more than anything, bro, just don't fuck up Deadpool 3. Yeah. <laughs> Mario, well, what, what about, about you, bro? bro? Rating, rating and final thoughts? Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I, I, I was looking forward to this show. Like I said, the trailers mislead you heavily. Um, they practically really just only show the first episode just to get you hooked to watch it. Uh, the whole thing felt rushed. It felt empty. The best things were Maya. It was cool to get an insight of how people who can't speak use sign language and how their day to day looks like. Cause I truly like I always knew that was a thing, but I, I never got really got to see like how what's their day to day look like, and that was cool mm. to see. So shout out that. Can I ask but, you guys real quick, Mario? Like both to both of you guys, did you guys eventually? I just got tired, man, of just reading subtitles. Nah. No, I really? mean, when they're doing the whole sign language shit, like I got tired. I'm like, bro, can we just have like a voice that says the shit to us? So you didn't. So you feel that here, but you didn't feel that with Silent Night. 
No, because there was no sign language. <laughs> no, no, but he just said, he just he just said, can we have somebody speak? Yeah. No, that's Silent not the night. same. That's not the same. Silent night, nobody spoke, bro. Yeah, but I also didn't have to focus on reading the shit. Yeah. Moving my eyes. I prefer eyes. reading nah. than, than not hearing anything. I Anyways, guess. fuck Silent Night, man. <laughs> anyway, you were saying Mario? <laughs> yeah. uh, like I said, it was pretty cool to see how the how like how they go about their daily life. Um, final boss, fi- not even final boss, just the final sequence. The final boss. The final, <laughs> the, the final <laughs> sequence. <laughs> okay. yeah, Elden Ring. The, the final boss was the, easy, man. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Ill, no. What's Yo. it called? The the final sequence. It was empty. It was shallow. It was. Just bad on all, all together. I'd rather watch Ratatouille, man. That's fact. <laughs> but to give it a, a score out of ten, I'll give it a five. Dang. This shit. We all think it's, it's not. Five. It's not amazing. I they're gonna give this one a four. Me nah, <laughs> bro. Nah. Nice. All right, guys. Well, that's a f- all fives across the board. Another mediocre uh, MCU show. How long is this, Mario? I don't even know, man. Uh, I mean, time. well, it, it says here well, like two said, hours yeah, and a half, yeah, but we, we gotta edit it out. We gotta edit. Just, yeah. Wait out. for sure over an hour. For sure over an hour, and I don't even know if we reviewed Echo properly. Like if it, like, it was, just, <laughs> I feel like it turned more of like of a rant with the MCU. But either way, guys, uh, we, we hope, hope you guys, enjoyed it. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. See you.